No, you are not high. I did just stream an hour ago and I took an hour to go get dinner and now we're streaming again. I don't know what the... I don't know what your uh, malfunction is there. All right. So let me talk you through. Let me talk you through what the plan is here. Take a nice big slurp of our drink. Um, so our plan is to try to make Relic Poland work in Vanilla Civ 6. There's a few compromises we have to make here. Let me talk you through those compromises. We're probably going to have to play on online speed. I'm actually going to quickly test that real quick before we, you know, we see things. Uh, hello, people in Potato. There is an awesome video on YouTube about the Cothon on the Mega Products channel. Very fun to see info about stuff I know from Civ 6. You are high. Well. Congratulations, I hope you live in a place where that is legal to do, and I hope you're doing it responsibly, and I hope you're having fun. So, this is actually a really based start location, maybe we'll... We'll just, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just, we'll do this. Uh, maybe, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just save this save file, right? But right, it takes eight error score to get a, to get a normal edge. Sixteen for a goal for a golden, I assume, right? So let's 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 just keep that knowledge in our pocket. So it was eight. And now, if I come in here and I create a game, I do the exact same thing I did, and the only thing that's different here is that the game speed is on standard. Let's just see what happens. Your stream this morning was fantastic. It was fun to watch an OP steamroll. I wanted to give a little bit of a show today. I try not to do that too often to the armchair admiral guys. I'm wondering because like the error score requirements are very very tight. Right, so if I come in here as Poland, it's eleven. 
Ooh, that shouldn't scale with game speed. No, 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 no. It really shouldn't. That should not scale with game speed because there's not... Mm. Okay, I've noticed a very, very important balance concern here. That actually changes a lot about playing single player Civ 6. How's it going, Bariga? Because if you imagine this, right, there's a limited amount of total error score in an entire game of Civ 6 that you can possibly obtain, right? Technically, it's infinite, but like there's, there's a limited amount, right? And if, if a standard speed game has a different amount of error score than an online speed game, it's easier to hit Golden Ages in online speed, which is going to be interesting, right? So let's make, a, uh, let's make an interesting game. So, with that compromise in mind, we, we are going to be playing on online speed. We're going to be playing on deity difficulty. We are, of course, going to be playing Pangea. Because I feel like it's the most, it's the most balanced map mode. Um, it just is. We'll play on small map size. We will be playing as Yadviga. Uh, we'll also be doing Abundant Resources. Uh, New World Age for more hills and mountains. We'll also be doing Wet Rainfall for more forests and stuff like that. And I think what we will do is now when it comes to city states if i select less city states than the total will extra be populated um choose city states if six or is that like a other thing let me have a look here They balance around standard only. Actually, that's not true. Carl will tell you himself. Uh, he was one of the QA guys on Civ 6. They balance for marathon. Oh, yes, they do. He had to play many, 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 many marathon games in order to give feedback on balance. Um, what happened to the previous Poland game? Uh, I think we basically won that one and I wasn't really super interested in continuing it and I was more interested in studying a new one so we could try out a new build in vanilla Poland. Yes, marathon balance. Well, I mean, like, balanced... Uh, it's balanced. You know, it's like, it's okay. So here's the question I have. It would be kind of fun, maybe, if I could force... You know, I can just test it. Yeah, yeah, I have to select. So it would be kind of fun to have Yerevan and Candy in the game. But am I cheating if I select City States? I think it should just be random. I think I should just let it random. I feel like selecting your City States... Because, like, then you're testing for a high roll. And you're not really testing for, like, a standard game. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it default. Everything basic default, nothing special, just all super default. Only UI mods installed. Now, I try not to mess with the settings because I feel like I give myself an advantage. I think it can be fun to play with the settings to give yourself an advantage sometimes. Just in the same way, it can be fun to give yourself a disadvantage sometimes. And sometimes it's good to just well. So let me you know let me let me wind back here. I kind of forgot to tell you what what I was doing. The whole point of this stream is that A, I need to generate B-roll for a Poland Civ overview that I'm doing. B, I want to test Poland in a reasonable situation, in a reasonable build. Um, can they achieve what they need to achieve in an average game? So I'll briefly go over the build that we're going to be doing. I'm just going to do it verbally and then I'll, because I might be restarting multiple times here to test the build. So the basic idea of the build is we settle our capital city somewhere reasonable. We go for two settlers, sorry, two scouts, one settler, one holy site, and then two holy site projects in order to get this first or second religion. The uh, L, L, L. <laughs> Thank you, Morbus. Um, 
And then the build is to try to go reliquaries with Mahabodhi Temple and Mont Saint Michel. Right? We try to we try to go for a, a mid game relic tourism Poland build Good morning, to see if we can make it work. So our our two biggest goals are well our two biggest goals in the early game here are a to secure a golden age and b to get a religion. Those are our two biggest goals in the early game. And then obviously the third tertiary goal is to survive. Now, going into the classical era, our biggest goal will be to get another golden age, to do another monumentality golden age. And if we can achieve all of those, I think I can make this build work. So let's uh, start exploring. So we found some desert, which isn't ideal, but it is relatively flat. I think settling in place makes sense here. No, I could move here, but that doesn't improve the city over this. This could be a potentially blank tile. I have a four food tile to start. Four food tiles, believe it or not, are actually massive tempo. So like if we do the maths on this, do you know what? <laughs> Screw the B-roll. Let's do the math. Um, so I have a civilization formula here. Um, let me see here. Vanilla. So, um, paint. Let me just make sure you guys can see this, what I'm doing. That's not the screen. That's the screen I want to show you. So the formula for population, right? Uh, is 15 plus eight times n plus n five dollars to the power sense of your vids man um to the power of 1.5 okay so if we want one pop that's just uh where n equals pop minus one so to grow from one pop to two pop is just you plug in n one minus one is zero so eight times n is zero n to the power of 1.5 is zero so you need 15 food to get the first population okay so if we come in here and we look at the city five pounds and zero pennies high potato so is morbis actually an otter Yes. That's amazing. I never thought an archer could do such a good job as a video editor. Well, he, we, we trained him very hard so that he could use his little otter paws to uh, to work the, the computer. Um, so you can see here, uh, where does it say that? Ah, food needed to grow population seven, okay? Because obviously you divide this by two because we're on online speed, which is 7.5 and the game rounds that down for some reason to seven, okay? So anyway, uh, long story short, if we plug in these numbers, it will be, um, so from two to three and three to four, it'll be something like um, 15 plus, I, I, you know what, let me open up a thing, a uh, sheet, not new, yeah, let me just open a, up a quick Google sheet. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six. So reasonably, you're going to grow. Let, so we're reasonably going to grow to five pop here. Um, so this equals 15 plus eight times this minus one plus this minus one to the power of 1.5 okay so let me just make sure i have this all bracketed out correctly so that the order of operations is correct because if you don't do that uh... okay i have it all bracketed out the order of operations should be set and we will autofill. And then we will divide by two. 
and all of that. So the thing we're looking for here is surplus food. Now, uh, let me do two food, three food, and four food surplus equals this divided by two. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Equals this divided by two. So I'm doing some maths off screen, but it'll make sense here in just a moment. So I should grow in two turns when I click on this. Let me pull this spreadsheet in. So let me briefly explain what's going on here. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. Just worry about these numbers here, okay? These are how fast your city will grow based on it being online speed. Um, I'm still armchair admirals. What? No, I changed it. You're crazy. There's no way it says armchair admirals. I definitely changed it. You need to refresh your, your stream. Anyway, okay, so like, don't worry about this. All you got to worry about is this, okay? Uh, I should probably sum these two. So if I work two food surplus, it'll take me 43 turns to get the five population versus if I work a four food surplus, this tile, it'll take me only 21 turns to get to five population. That's kind of insane. So this is why I think a four food tile actually gives your city humongous tempo provided your follow-up tiles are at least one to two food as well. So I feel like this is why I'm going to go ahead and work the four food tile because it's just, it's so much tempo. Like it's insane. Sure enough, like I miss out, right? I miss out on four production. But if you think about how much faster each, each pop is coming, um, if you think about this, right? I'm going to grow to two pop, two turns sooner. And then I'm going to grow to three pop, three turns sooner. And then I'll grow to, and then it'll, and then they'll equalize because they'll both be working this, right? So I, I feel like the tempo here, the tempo saving is just really, really good. Like tempo is everything. Plus then that's only calculating the production. You consider I'm getting a little bit of science. I'm getting a little bit of culture. Maybe shaves a turn off of something here or there. I don't know. It's just, it feels like four food tile as your first tile feels like the correct play. Anyway, a lot of maths. Um, what was I doing? Let me get rid of some of the stuff I was working on. But yeah, so that's just so you understand why I was making my decision. What about three food versus two food, two production? I think that's a harder choice. Um, now the downside of this the real consideration is that this will slow down my scouts considerably, but speed up everything that comes after the scouts. So, you know, we'll have to make a compromise somewhere. So we're going to start with two scouts, go immediately into astrology. Mm. I might have to go mining. Where do I put my... Where do I put my, 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 my holy site this game? It really depends on what this tile is. So until I pop out a scout, I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, the world seam is here. You can tell the world seam where the world seam is, is if your camera does that crazy thing, it means it like wrapped around to correct where it was. So there's a tribal village. That's really good. That's plus one error score. Now, currently I have plus one error score from founding. You should get plus one from finding a tribal village. And I got a free builder. So free builder is huge. Um, theoretical five food on the rice tile now that like completely breaks the calculations even more um, but yeah that's super good I think I'm going to scout to the left with my warrior astrology wants scout ASAP I think it's fine let me go ahead and turn off the builder lens all right so that's pretty decent now it's a five food tile let me have a little think about this. Okay, that should be fine. So I want to do a little a little bit of micro here because I think I can switch away from this and still grow in one turn working these two food, two production tiles because there's enough overflow. So this will actually net me an extra two production and make up for the fact. You can see here, even, you know, the difference 
in growth speed. So this is like super try hard, super sweaty stuff. You don't have to do this. All right, we found Bologna. We were the first to find Bologna, which does get me an extra science point. We found another tribal village. Um, so I am with the science from Bologna. I feel like I'm safe to go ahead and pick up a mine. Because that will allow me to plant my holy site here. And I could even position a builder uh, and scout with a builder to be ready. To actually, ooh, that's big. That changes my plans again, although I don't want to buy. I need a lot of gold, but I could buy the cattle and there's a theoretical like five adjacency holy site there. I think we go animal husbandry into astrology now and we just start buying this. Okay, so this is maybe not representative of an average Poland game, but I think it's a reasonable Poland game. Like, you could probably get a plus five holy site in most of your Poland games. No? Am I crazy? Societies is so broken, it, not using it makes a playthrough legit. Well, I think there's three versions of Poland. Um, there's Poland, where you go for relics. Then there's Poland, where you go for domination. And then there's Poland when you're playing secret societies, and you can do both. I really hope this is a relic just just to absolutely okay a free recon unit is honestly equally as good because it helps me secure my golden age um so we get our settler we're looking for a second place to put a city i don't think i'm going to keep scouting to the left here i don't know if there's going to be much of value here i mean this warrior is here i may as well look for error score so that changes the value of this guy i want to be in position to harvest this oh my god Oh my god. Code of Laws, God King, and Urban Planning were not concerned with fighting barbs right now. Mainly because we haven't met any. Oh yes. Huge. Did I set this to Deity? I did. Okay, so it is a Deity game. I'm not crazy. I usually don't get this kind of look. Plus five Holy Sight and a free builder. Maybe it's a little crazy. All right, maybe it's a high roll. But that's why we are going to try things out. Now... What I want to get to is early empire, for sure. Zero cents, hey man. Been watching for a little over a year and want to say thanks for the content. No, thank you. Helped me smooth, Siv. Uh, I, thank you so much, Ryan Sakura, for your uh, for your donation, and thank you so much, MB, as well, for becoming a member. No, look, hey man, I, I really like this game, and I love I love playing it, and I love teaching people how to play it. I, I just love games, you know, and and this just so happens to be one of the games that I play. Um. So I'm waiting for a little bit more gold to buy that tile. We are going to get Animal Husbandry, which I normally wouldn't research Animal Husbandry this early. But the particular situation that we're in kind of demands it. Okay, there's Kabul and a tribal village, plus one envoy. We were not the first to meet Kabul, but if I did put a point into Kabul, I could get my settler maybe a turn sooner. Let's do the math on that. I'm making eight production. Um, there's... Nah. 9 would bring it to 27. Sorry, 9 would bring it to 26. Oh, it might actually. Actually, a point into Kabul might actually get me my settler return sooner, right? It did. Oh, Pog. Okay. These are the kind of level of optimizations you want to go for when you're sweating. Look, sometimes you have to be a, a sweat lord. So I did meet Sweden. Now, one thing I would love to do is to yoink this barb camp. So there's astrology. I can buy this in two turns. I want to keep the scout away from my empire. There's another sieve. What are we looking like? We're at 19. Okay. Yeah, I want to play. Oh, it went up to 40 now. I would love to send delegations, but I don't think I can afford to. I'm going to bring this warrior back now to the fight barb camps. Um, astrology. It's always good to pick up mining as an option. You know, if I could sneak around and take this barb camp, it would be amazing. Ooh, yes. Two pounds and zero pennies, please cheer me up. Rename city to pole position. Sure thing. Um, so what I'm hoping to happen here... Thank you for the dono. Uh, what I'm hoping to happen here is this barbarian spearman 
will get attacked by the city state. I will get a heal and then I'll be able to clear the barb camp for two era score. I think my next city goes here. That's a grassland hill. No, I think it goes north, honestly. Um, yeah, I need to head northeast. I would love to send these guys delegations, but I need my gold. You know what? Maybe we can do... This isn't like normal in a game, but what if I traded one GPT? I could get it one turn sooner. And I think that's a fine thing to do. Yeah, okay, so they killed that. That was exactly what I hoped for. And I needed this guy to have health because he's going to get shot by a quad. And I needed him to survive that. So that's a bunch of error score. One, two, three, four, five, six. It was within six tiles of a city. So it did give me the full plus three error score, which is exactly what we want to see. I'm going to harvest this tile to go to four population. Immediately plant the plus five holy site. And then start walking the settler to the north. I don't like that the barb has scouted me, but I'll have to survive that somehow. Bandar Brunei, that's good. I need seven era score. I'll get most of that from founding a religion. <clears throat> Though they came in and say Poland was terrible, Poland is true, the dream that Poland was indeed terrible. I think Poland is bad, but I think Poland does have two viable builds. And it's just a matter of playing to their strengths. Um... One of the big mistakes I feel like a lot of people make when they're trying to play Poland is they try to make all of their abilities work at the same time, which really doesn't work without mods. Um, really, what we're going to focus on this game is the relics and the Sukinis. So if I'm thinking about what my... Let's think about our late game and mid game implications. Um, we can get arches pretty easily. Settling near a wonder gets plus three error score. That is true. I can settle near this and get a bunch of error score, which is part of the plan. Um, it's going to be part of what we do. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. I know it probably sounds a little bit mad. But, like, there'll probably be a Mont Saint Michel, like here. Right. Then there'll be a Mahabodhi temple here. No. We can kill the rice tile for tempo later. <laughs> what if we did a whole. Well, see, this city needs to be the one to build the Mahabodhi temple. I'm thinking Mahabodhi Temple, Mont Saint Michel, boom, 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 and then like a theater square in the middle of that would be super good. Or what if we put a government plaza in the middle of that and then put a theater square on either side like this? This seems equally as good, in my opinion. No? Any disagreeers? Any agreeers? Uh, do you mind me answering a fairly basic civic question for me? For something like Temple of Artemis, read from your pantheon, how many of a certain tile improvement do you look for to feel like it's worth it? Um, it's kind of situational. All of these things are valued comparatively. I would say I would be looking for like a minimum of like three to be able to instant pick it, but it's really just a comparison. Holy site's already built though. That's going to be a second holy site. That's this city's holy site, and that'll be another city's holy site. So what's the what's the place? Whoa! Damn it! Um, what's the placement requirements on Saint Basil's? Hundred percent religious tourism from the city, plus one food, plus one production, all hundred tiles. Must be built adjacent to the city center. So I could theoretically. And I mean, if I'm going to do that. Would I not do this? A 
SK 50.00 with a city near Pamukkale, you can put a holy site on the stone and an encampment between both sites. You do, you, uh, the um, Poland's ability lies to you. All districts give adjacency bonus to Poland. Look, right, holy site. Boom. I put a encampment next to it. It goes up to plus one. I put a commercial hub up to it. It goes to plus one. I put a diplomatic quarter up to it. It goes to plus two. Industrial zone, plus three. Dam, plus four. Canal, plus five. So the game is doing the calculation incorrectly. The game lies to you. This, bill, this is not only encampments, all districts. Boosted. <clears throat> Have that holy site in the copper? Um, holy site of the copper. Government plans where the plus five holy site is now. It's technically worse. But it does leave room for a city settled here to go one, two, three and get a third bang in theater square. So I think this is like a reasonable configuration. What do you guys think? Do you think that's okay? Um, I would love to go for the Colosseum. It's just not going to happen. That'd be amazing. God, ooh, culture game Colosseum though. Hmm. I feel like you go for the Colosseum in a culture game if you're not going for a religion or you have some other really good tempo ability. The strategics aren't getting in the way. Well, I, I plan to not research bronze working for a while. So we shouldn't have to worry about that. I think this is fine. Are you thinking reliquaries? I, this is definitely a reliquaries game. I think you should put the theater square on the desert. Put the commercial hub where your Caps Theatre is. I mean, that's reasonable. It's only a plus three. I mean, it's still a plus three here. You know what I'm saying? So... Havakala gives adjacency to all districts so government plaza removes value. Yeah, but I mean, you have to make compromises like that. Occasionally, shit just has to go somewhere. Um, Dish the many is placed next to an... Theatre Square Campus. Ooh. How about this? Yeah, I like this a lot more. This uh, this this works, in my opinion, a lot more. Any disagrees? You can't build Mahabodhi like this. It needs to be next to a holy site. I mean, I'm I'm sorry to tell you, but there is a holy site here. That is Mahabodhi. The complaint is that I haven't found it a religion. Uh, Mahabodhi Temple must be built. Plus two diplomatic victory points. Must be built on woods adjacent to a holy site with district with a temple and you must have founded a religion. So Tree Wonders next to Government Plaza. I mean that kind of sucks. But who cares? Is is it that bad really? Hmm. What about pyramids? That's actually a really good question. The nest here wonder I have to go for it. But I can chop through. Let me have a look at my capital chops. My big problem is Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some chopping. I can chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. 
in the capital to get Mahabodhi and maybe Mont Saint Michel. Another chop here. We'll have to we'll have to play it close to the heart. But we might be able to make it work. So they're perfect. We got away scoff free with our scout, like we had planned. Well, I say scoff free. He's a little bit hurt, but we managed to clear a barb camp for three error score. Which in my mind is a very big win. Basil's is OPW slash Poland two if you find Tundra. Ooh, big. So I need this warrior over here to fight. Oh! No chase Arino. Barb camp appeared over here. That's between me and Dido. That's honestly good. <gasps> He's standing on my holy site. That jerk wad. Put a turn into a traitor. He better not pillage that. I swear to God. Oh, he can't because it's uh, unbuilt. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Imagine pillaging unbuilt districts. <sighs> oh. The scout should go southeast. I forgot to change my government. That's painful. I don't have my pantheon yet, so I can't change it. Get into the city to heal. Yoink. 20 gold. Can I buy something useful with that? Maybe a slinger in a turn or two. So the big problem is this guy has... Let me have a look here. He's got three movement, which means he can move onto this hill and then move here, which means I need to do a, do a, which means I need to go to this tile to prevent him from capturing me. And then I go here and here. And then next turn, you can step here. Okay, so the plan is I can save either the builder or the settler, depending on how this works out. And I think I think this is fine. This lets me save the builder. Could you move Swan St. Michel to the south side of your city if you have a spot on the Gov Plaza? Well, I mean, it was kind of giving adjacency to theater squares. I Theoretically, I could move it. But I prefer this configuration. I don't know. It just suits me better. It's, it, it, just, it suits me. It suits me. Theoretically, one, two, three. If I settle a city here, one, two, three. There's another theater square here too. So like these are all things that I'm considering long term, right? So you have to take these things. You have to kind of think in a very broad and oh, almost forgot to finish my holy site. That's really bad, actually. I may as well finish the trader now that I've put the turns into it, which I hate. Um, we're maxed out on food. So let's say food is not important in this city. Um, work other things than food. Ideally production. Okay. Uh, so Poland culture game. We're Poland culture game with a focus on relics. So I think I settle here. I would love to settle closer to the furs, but what I'm going to do. Settle here. Um, we're going to send this trade route to. Vratzlov. You step here. Save. And then you should be able to fortify and beat this. Provided I spend the money. To do this. Holy sight right there. But do I want to go holy site or do I want to go monument? As amazing as a monument would be, this level of holy site with a monumentality golden age could actually be like insane if I go for it first. Entertainment instead of Goodman Plaza might provide more adjacency. If I'm going for it, well, it would, right? But now this is too many districts to build. The government plaza I have to build, so I like getting three. Ideally, you would like the government plaza to be surrounded by a bunch. Look, these are these are compromises. We're making compromises. This isn't this isn't like perfectly optimal, but we're making what I would consider to be reasonable compromises based on our land and our quality of land, right? Now, 
I think encampments give plus two to holy sites and all other districts plus one. Uh, no, I can confirm for you that that is not how it works. I can place an encampment pin. And next to this encampment, I will place a commercial hub. The commercial hub is plus zero. I add in another district, like say a aqueduct. And now the commercial hub is plus one. So uh, how it works is Poland gets plus one adjacency on her holy sites from every district. So theoretically, I don't actually have to found my religion. Buy a slinger, declare the barb camp. That would be an option. I need you to hold. So I have my golden age secured, so I probably don't want to scout anymore for a little while. Um, holy site complete. Let's have a look at this. There. Two holy site prayers. That's the build. Save that chop. Do holy side prayers into pyramids, I think, is the move. You step onto that forest. Now, here's where we have a hard choice. Uh, our appeal would be pretty high. This would be another little bit of stuff. So Earth God. So just what we want is a faith generating pantheon. We want a, a faith generating pantheon. Um, so something like Earth Goddess, Fire Goddess, God of War, Initiation kind of religious idols is a good option faith from quarries we would like something that generates faith but if we the title needs you need to refresh your stream it's it literally like it lit lit lit, lit, lit. i don't know what to tell you dude you need to refresh your stream because i'm like if i go to imager and i post in potato mcwhiskey twitch Like I'm 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 a I'm a I'm a post this to imager and like there you go. It literally says relic Poland testing out bills. So I, I don't know what to tell you. But I appreciate you looking out for me. Um remember to refresh your streams, guys. So do we have a good I mean Desert Pantheon marsh pantheon marsh 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 that's four production in the capital let's do like a little bit of scanning here that's not what i meant to type in i mean like look at that look at I, if marsh pantheon we have insanely good adjacency on our holy sites as much as we would love like is there anything giving us as much value as that There's a desert floodplain over there. There's a couple of desert flood. Yeah, I feel like this This is like a forced Lady of the Reeds and Marshes. Even though I would really like to get something that gave me faith. I think this is forced. Which, you know, is fine. Sometimes you get a forced pantheon when it's just too good. It's kind of a good thing to have. A free relic pantheon, actually. A, a pantheon that gives you a free relic would be amazing for Poland. I kind of wish it existed. So I should win this fight. I'm fortified. But what I can do to make sure I win is switch the unit. Um, pottery. I need to think about tile improvements. I would love to buy a tile on Vratza. I need to buy a, a slinger is the thing. I just need a slinger. I could chop out a slinger. I don't want to chop out a slinger. Let's take Alpine. You step into that city to heal. 
if I attack, I'll get 5 XP and level up. This Spearman should not be able to kill me. And I should promote next turn. The only thing that kills me here is if a barb spawns. Um, but I'm going to do the greedy thing and buy a tile when I shouldn't to go for pyramids. Yeah, I should I should get one of the first religions. I thought Clay must feel happy. And this kind of means I want to move some of this stuff actually. If pyramids are going here, this will trigger some changes. Like this. And Mont Saint Michel can go like here. Am I, am I actually blind? Holy shit, where is it? Oh, did the pyramids just go? Well, did it actually? It just went. Okay, that's fine. Um... I want to found a religion. I'm not happy. How often does the AI go for reliquaries, really? Does anyone know? Could I could I wait a turn? Could I wait until the next era to found my religion to get extra era score? Is that an insane thing to do? Um, so I think we want to go monument here. I've never seen the AI go for reliquaries. That's what I'm thinking. Reliquaries, how often do they go for lay ministry? That's the other thing. Speaking of relics. I think I can actually wait on my religion here to save the era score for the next era, um, which is honestly quite handy. Oh. Um, right, so we have monumentality secured. We have a lot of things secured. Let's let's start thinking about um, luxuries. We need to think about luxuries. So I'm looking at camps. I'm looking at plantations. So I'm going to take a moment here to pick up. Sailing for fishing boats. I take irrigation and sailing. Those are the two that I need. I also need to think about a city that's actually coastal to be able to get a galley next era. So probably one of my next two cities will be on these two tiles. One, two, three. Yeah, these two tiles. Probably something like that. We'll figure it out. Um, but this kind of reconfigures me to go back to the old configuration with Mont Saint Michel. Why can I never find it? There it is. Um, so I don't need this. I'm going to hold on to this builder charge because I can't boost craftsmanship because I only improved one tile. I hate that I'm killing this actually now that I'm thinking about it. This is too good a tile to kill. As is this almost. Honestly. I think this is just like a... These tiles are too good to kill now, I think. We'll just move them over. Something like this. We'll figure it out. Please build a hexagon of farms. Nah. Pyramids got yeeted, sadly. It was luxuries like air. Early Empire... So I'll finish that monument and then go for more settlers. This is where like I would really like to go for Moksha, but I think it's kind of necessary to take Pingala, at least for the culture. 
Now we want to work towards state workforce and political philosophy. Let's take a turn. He might attack me again. You fortify. You don't need to go in there yet. Gentle eruption. Okay. A fertilized tiles. Not too bad. Could be a city over here to the east. A little bit worried about Gore, um, Phoenicia forward settling me. I don't know. We have we have good land. If we can if we can get to monumentality and crack out our settlers, we have really 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 solid land. So I'd like to get out two settlers before the next era. I think that would really set if I could if I could hard build two settlers, that would really set the tone for the rest of the game for me. Stay fortified, you're fine. Um, you head up. I want those olives online. You come this way. You retreat. We want that. But I don't actually want to kill this because I want to wait. You fortify there. Bronze working is advanced. You go ahead and fortify, but don't heal. You fortify. You're heading this way. I'm trying not to get error score is basically what I'm trying to do right now. For those of you wondering why I'm playing a little bit weird, should be safe to send a settler this way. Here. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking a settler here. This will be my coastal settle. This is a relatively safe inland settle. This can configure with some of these districts. Um, one, two, three. There's potentially a city on one of these two tiles. Is that a plains hill? No. So one of these two tiles could be a city. Let's say it's there. Um, there's definitely a city somewhere like here or here. One of these two tiles has a city. So it's like we've got a lot of potential cities around us. So I'm going to take the promotion on you now. You're not ready to promote. Um, we don't want to clear that barb camp until it's the next era. Four turns until next era. What religions went? Let's have a look. Feed the world, meeting house, choral music, Watts, warrior monk synagogue. Okay, so these are none of these we care about. No, none of them we care about. Okay, so this is less good. So you're gonna have to move and then promote or something to get away from this. Um, let's do plantation. Two settlers. Um. Maybe secure, th well, the worry is that there might be a barbarian horseman hanging around here, whereas I'm a little bit more certain that there's not stuff here to my left. This feels a little bit safer to go left. Nobody's planning to declare war on me. Maybe could be Dido. If she does, I should be in time to be able to faith purchase a builder and chop out units to defend myself. It is not that okay, so you need to step left. And then promote. Yeah, I'm going to go for the desert city. Even though it'll use up an error score. It'll be fine. I might wait. I might wait. I might wait with that one, actually. Um, so I really want to avoid doing iron working. Would it be good to change the government plaza with the plus two theater square? Actually, no. And let me explain why. Um, well, actually, yeah, slightly better. Yeah, that works out slightly better. In other news, potatoes getting greedy. I mean, if you look at my position, I feel like I'm in unthreatened greed position. You know what I mean? Okay, I got that scout out of there. This scout. Okay, there is a barb horseman there. So I feel like I made the correct decision not to head east. Which means this one's going to go south or west. And I think I'd like to get the coastal city up. You're in position. 
I want to keep you off the holy site so I don't accidentally do it. it Imagine thinking potato being greedy is news. True. True. So there's state workforce. There's Corvi, Conscription, Government Plaza. Um, we definitely want to place the Government Plaza, but I kind of need to be a little bit more judicious with my gold. Um, so now we can start earning Era score again. So boom, there's plus one for settling in desert. Um, you should totally be working this tile. Uh, dedication wise, this is just a very obvious monumentality game. We only have 15 faith per turn, but that will increase. Um, speaking of which, uh, Pogger. Th Let's get our shrines up. I would have loved to have met a faith based city state, but that wasn't on the cards. Let's also found our religion next turn. We can grab this tribal village. Perfect. Lots of boosts. And we can start clearing this barb camp for another plus three error score. So a ton of error score on the way. Um, one big problem we have is no good place for holy sites. We have a little thing here. I would like to build a wonder this era. I'm going to send a settler to the left. Feels like the safest direction. I haven't seen a barb camp over here in a while. Um, monument first. We don't have to worry about placing the district. I would like to place a district, but I'm kind of limited on gold. Let's go ahead and promote Pingala with Connoisseur because I need that extra culture to start off. That puts me up to a very, very healthy 10 culture per turn, which is behind the AI, but not like ridiculously so. Step, 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 step. Let me think about this. If I clear this barb camp, this scout will enrage. The enraged scout will see my settler and go for him. It will step to here. I will step to here. It will step to here. I will step to here and settle. So I can, I can clear this barb camp safely. Theoretically, it shouldn't be able to get to me because the city always provides... Um, what you call it? Zone of control. I need to buy a slinger to clear out some of these. Plus, I wouldn't mind boosting archery. Um, okay. So, we got a monument in here. Let's go immediately for shrine. We have the faith to potentially purchase settlers. Um, I think my next guy... I think I go researcher into Magnus. I need to buy this tile. And then I need to buy this tile. So I need a little bit of gold. What could I sell? That would put me at negative one amenities in all my cities, which would be a 10% yield drop, which I don't think I can afford to do. But if I were to purchase a builder, I can improve this furs and sell that and then not go to negative amenities. What can I sell this for? 22 gold, 17 gold. Okay, okay, okay. That kind of opens up the potential here. Buy that tile. Buy that tile. So now we just need to do switch, switch. Take this. Government Plaza on there. Boom. Easy. And then we can just go, why don't you take that back? Well, now that I think about it, how badly do you want this? You could make use of it. You don't need the food though. That's the thing. But you do need the production, so... I want my capital city to be really strong. Um, oh, did I? I did get sailing. Let's buy another builder in pole position to upgrade the amber. And then that puts me in a better amenity position. Uh, let's found our religion. Uh, sure, we will be relics of the past. Reliquaries, and we want I mean honestly lay ministry is better for culture gain but pilgrimage is better for faith I feel like lay ministry needs a buff that should be that should be plus two plus two in my opinion this is just strictly better but this will be better long term Relics of the 
future relics of the past relics of the piast oh my god that's such a good pun fuck i wish i could go back a turn i don't want to reload the turn because i did so much stuff didn't i god that would have been an amazing pun are you going to build relic holding wonders yes Oh wait, I didn't finish my religion. <gasps> I can still do it. You're a genius. I can still do it. Holy orders is what we want to take long term. But we want something that generates faith. And it's a question of, I mean, if we want faith generation, pilgrimage is just better. It has more tempo than Lay Ministry. Lay Ministry has a better late game. Pilgrimage is with better tempo. What are you going to do? Did Dido set forward settle you inland? No, not really. It's like her capital's here. Um, Reliquaries, Pilgrimage. It's just strictly better. You're up to 27 era score. We need to get to 49. So we'll have to keep working on that. Our missions, missionaries and apostles open? Not yet. Not until we finish our shrines. Or do you mean holy orders? Don't divide and rule the sound. Um, so unfortunately, I think this warrior is dead. Unless I do this and jebate these guys with the slinger. The slinger should be low enough. Ah, oh, he's not. <gasps> he might be. He might be low enough combat strength. It's five base. Plus five is ten. This guy's comp... Yeah, so they might attack the slinger and not the warrior. I might be able to save the warrior here. Towns yeah, yeah. I haven't fully decided on where I want to put either of these two cities. It's either I'm settling on the coast... Or I'm settling on this. And I honestly, I want to avoid the coast this game. So maybe this is the settle. It's like a really high quality city. One, two, three. Um, I want to place theater square. Classical Republic feels like the correct choice. There's two error score. Um... So let's think about our government here. Although to be honest with you, no shit, I should have gone autocracy. Fuck. I need the wonder building and the auto and the, the extra yields. So I'll need to switch. But classical republic is fine for now. But I'll basically be switching as soon as I can, which is in a turn. Let me explain why. I want the ten percent production towards wonders because I plan to chop out Mahabodhi Temple and Mont Saint Michel. High quality beside a volcano. It's two tiles away on normal disaster intensity, which means it won't get affected by the volcano. Volcanoes only damage tiles directly adjacent to them. I think the coastal city, you can get a plus four harbor and another Pamakala holy site. Uh, harbors just aren't in my build. Because I'm playing as Poland, I want to focus on making commercial hubs, which means I want to build the Sukunis. Um, so making harbors is only necessary for a single city in order to get the Gali era score. Beyond that, it's not super important to me. So what I'm thinking about here is where versus being here that just claims so much really high quality land. Like horses, amazing, amazing. One, two, three, amazing holy site here. One, two, three. I mean, I miss out on this giga holy site, right? The plus seven, but I still get like a plus what? Plus six? That's, that's of reasonable quality. Now it is next to a volcano, which kind of sucks actually. I don't think it's worth it to be coastal. If I go coastal, I have to go harbor, and I don't want to go harbor as Poland, so I think I would rather go here. Um, plus one housing and amenities is better, so good to have chosen democracy even one turn. No. What I would have really liked to have done is to switch to autocracy. 
um, because I want that wonder construction. So now that we have this, we need to go straight for the Mahabodhi temple. That's going to be what our next thing that we do is. So we'll go here, here, here. Um, I'd like to get my capital to seven population to do good things. I want to place your second district, but I think I can get away with faith purchasing a settler in here first. Need to get my capital to seven pop so I can place a theater square. Go do that. You step here. Um, I definitely don't want to research bronze working too early. So I'll go for this and this. Well, I'll go for this. Uh, production. Just as many yields as possible because I'm faith buying these things. I need discipline to fight the barbs. But later when the wildcard policy is better for democracy. Or am I wrong? What? For democracy? What What are you talking about? It's classical republic autocracy and oligarchy. Democracy? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Could harvest the camp. Don't want to. We'll build the camp. I can't explain it, but the tempo is so much faster split game. Time versus last Poland game. Do you know what it is? I'm playing an online speed. It's literally all it is, is that the game is way better balanced for high level play on online speed. It's just, I, 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 I've become speed pilled, which sounds like I'm taking drugs. So I'd like a granary in here. Government Plaza. I'll need to build wonders. Yeah, so these are the wonders I'll be building. Take suzerainty of Kabul. Be the first suzerain, even if their ability isn't very good. It does provide me with an ally as well as map vision, and I could theoretically su uh, levy them later if I wanted to. We will settle here. Um, monument first. Any good holy sites? Not really. We'll worry about that a little bit later. I really need to buy these tiles. It's kind of imperative, actually. Oh yeah, I should probably work more food in my capital. Um, I really need to get the... And okay, 100.00 thanks for your constant and fun streams. I have learned so much of the intricacies of Civ 6. I need Granary Audience Chamber in here um, to make this work. Now I feel safe to research ironworking, actually, and this will allow me to chop jungle. Chopping jungle will allow me to convert these into productive, high production tiles, so that's good. Uh, thanks for your constant and fun streams. I've learned so much of your interest. Yeah, thank you so much, Fanaru, for the 100 knock. Don't forget to change government. Oh. I'll do that next turn. Whoops. So there's researcher. There's our little bit of tech. Tempo is good. Now we want to look for Magnus and... Probably the second we have Magnus, we swap him into this city. Kind of wish I had Magnus right now, but, you know, sacrifices need to be made. I would love to be improving these tiles, but I need to save these builders for chopping. A lot of chopping that needs to happen. Let's make sure the warrior dies. The scout I can deal with. Like I said. <gasps> Bruh. I should win. I fucking lose this. Why didn't I just take the heal? Why didn't I just take the heal? Why didn't I just take the heal? 
Why did I just take the heel? <sighs> Why didn't I just take the heel? <laughs> Why didn't I just take the heel? Fuck. I forgot to change my equipment again. I'm also <gasps> I lived? I lived. Oh, Megalol, who thought I would die? Who are the nerds in chat that thought I would die there? You fools. Um, yeah, I really want to place the theater square, but I can't place it just yet. Um, let's get another slinger. Good iron tile. <gasps> I, my population got murked, dude. I'll buy a settler from Pausing it next turn to get it over to here. Nah, I'll buy it from Lublin. Bruh. Bruh. You're in position, you're in position. Forgot to change my government. I need to do that next turn. It'll be fine for now. Um, now a trade route to my capital makes more sense, right? Yeah. Or for gold? Gold is good. Gold is really good. This is a fairly safe trade route. Tire, six gold, one science. I'm going to take it. As much as I like the internals, um, six gold per turn is huge. Boom, boom, boom. We're getting lots of era score. I would like to build at least one commercial hub this era so I can get my Suki nice. Perhaps there's a configuration here with these two cities that I could do. What if I did a Suki nice and then I did a holy site and a holy site. Boosh, boosh. No, we'll we'll contemplate that. How do you get somebody city so early? Uh, game speed. I am speed. Potatoes. I should go back to scouting now. I need scouting info. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate you. One point in this plus a Manny would be error score. We can no more have All right, theology is going to trigger a sea change. We're going to immediately go to autocracy. Um, and we want to have scripture and core V plugged in. Boom, boom, boom. This is the configuration. 43 signs per turn. Look at that bad boy. We can start the Mahabodhi temple soon. I'd like to place this, but I can't place it yet. Um, I need to be a fate spammer, but I don't have really good adjacency on these districts. This is fine it'll eventually become good with a commercial open holy site boom, 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 boom. it'll eventually become good it uses up a useful, useless desert tile it'll take 10 turns i could go watermill what i really need is a builder in here but i think the best thing to do is to fate spam
I want another governor title, so I'll take recorded history. Slinger coming out. You don't need your temple yet. But we could get the temple and continue to be a fate spammer, which seems to be the play. Ooh. I'm going to one turn military tradition so I can get suzerainty of Bandar Brunei. That could theoretically be a lot of error score waiting for me. A lot, there's a lot coalescing here in my mind. It's kind of hard to explain everything that's going on. Oracle is, I'm not going for religious victory, we're going for a tourism victory. Bravery. That flood did not kill a population. Okay, so that's fine. Um, I need to explore. I have one scout going left, one scout going right. I have a slinger heading this way. I could use another settler in and around here. The land quality is okay. I think this is a reasonable spot, as is this. Um, I need to change this to Diplomatic League. This is all fine, even if I'm not technically using Core V yet. I'm okay with it the way it is. I could probably swap it out. One point to the Bandar Brunei, and then another point gets me Susan T. It should also get me Era Score, right? Ooh, why not? I wonder. Should have been. Um, but it did reveal a tribal village over here that I could snag for a little bit of error score. I need to clear this barb camp for sure. In which case, I'm going to take a turn to get archery. Archer should clear the camp much easier. Especially because I should be expecting swordsmen and potentially man at arms to start appearing. What happened to the map tax? You could hide them with a hockey. Boom, boom. I, okay, I did switch to autocracy. No, I'm not dumb. I had it for a moment there. I thought I'd just completely, absolutely ruined the game. Kind of boxed in. Won't win a tourism victory with six or seven cities. Eh, I think I can get one, two, three. That brings me up to... What? That brings me up to one... I'm on four. This is another three. That's seven, eight, potential nine, ten. I can get up to ten cities here. I think I can do it. You head this way, you heal there. Waiting with these builders. Oh, wait, is there things I could be improving with these builders? There probably is, right? Honestly, I should get that iron online. Maybe I could upgrade a warrior. I should build a warrior before I do that. Be plus one error score, plus one error score. If I could get horses, I don't think I have horses. Um, You're heading this way, you head this way. I'm feeling pretty good. I don't need this. I need Magnus in the capital now. Then I immediately take Pingala and put it in Vratsov. I lose a little bit of culture, but it'll recover pretty well. So Magnus is chop, chop, chop. Do not chop this. Do not chop. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, there's a lot of chops here. Um, more builders would be good. I'm trying to think other tiles to improve. There's two farms here, which is fine. It might boost feudalism. Thank you for the prime, by the way. Uh, okay. It's not, yeah, you need to stay in place though because you're about to be chopping. Let's buy a builder to be ready for this chopping we're going to do. Actually, I don't like this. I need to be able to defend this. Do not convert me. I hate that I have to spend faith on that, but that sometimes is just a necessary evil you're going to have to do. Yep, there it is. As expected. I'm going to have to fight this. Um, I need 30 Diplo favor. I should have, I should have done the Diplo favor purchasing exploit. 
Oh, I still can. Where they don't favor diplomatic favor until the um, till the World Congress is available. Okay, so hopefully she won't convert my cities anymore. He can't get me. Okay, we're safe. Have you managed to unlock all the Civ 6 achievements? I'm not really an achievement hunter. Thank you so much, Big Pothead, for becoming a member, by the way. Um, so I hate that I'm spending resources on this, but I think it's necessary so that I can get a wondrous commercial hub. How long until next era? 10 to 18 turns. It's going to be tight, but I think we can do it. We want to get a wondrous commercial hub plus a Suki, Suki Nice. Suki Nice. That's a nice Suzuki. Iron, boom. Remember the shop for Chichen Itza? Ah, we're not going for Chichen this game. Potatoes. Thank you, Cobalt Place. Wondrous Calm Hub is plus four, though. It will be plus four. <gasps> it's only plus three. Shysa. Oops. Well, we'll have to figure that one out. Could take Hanging Gardens real quick. Really need Mahabodhi though to evangelize. It's going to be close as hell. Galley? Galley's an easy one, right? That's plus two. Potatoes. Wonder? DKK. Plus three. 500.00 evangelize my inquisition your old dad asked me to send you some money for your helpful videos oh wow uh thank you so much mizanti for the 500 dkk i have a no contact what is that dkk to euro hey it's like 70 yeah that's a lot of that's a huge dono thank you so much that's a massive donation thank you thank you thank you thank you Sweden broker promise. Yeah, that's really annoying. Um, that's going to put pressure on my religion that I don't really have. <sighs> I don't really have faith space to do. I'm going to get the Mahabodhi temple. With chopping. I need to do an inquisition. Fully evangelize. And build wonders. And I need to build a theater square. It's going to be very, very tight. Like, insanely tight. Mm. There's no tech I can get. Maybe military tactics. Pingala will establish in three turns. I could maybe mil research military tactics before the era ends, getting me another era score. So, there's that. In terms of civics... I can't research it next. I could. No, nah, I can't get another era. Mm, I'll have to go for defensive tactics. That's okay. Can you buy horses? I I don't have the resources to do purchasing. I'm gonna have to play it very very carefully here. We need to wait for Magnus. We need to wait for Pingala. It's all just gonna come down to a very tight timing on whether or not I can get this golden age. Now, if I don't get this golden age, it's not like total end of the world it's just my build is weaker that's all right which might be more representative of an average Poland game ooh the hell that should have been at least 200 pressure and it did nothing I 
I have to fight now for my capital. So I got the temple in here. I really want to start the theater square. How long will it take me? Theater square is seven turns. I need to buy this tile. Switch it to this city. Move you to there. You're going to build, uh, I don't know, a, 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 a granary in the meantime. I can maybe get this theater square in time in Vratza. Yes, I think I can. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can. I, can, I think I can do it. I, I, think I, I think I can get it together. Build an improvement on the tile that has a disaster. Maybe. Um, I don't know if I've already done that. Let's check. I don't see it. Clearing this barb camp would be huge. I had a second archer. Go explore with the galley. Where was my second archer? Am I blind? There you are. We might be able to clear the barb camp. I'm going to hold off on spending this governor title until I know a little bit more. You've lots of Diplo to sell. I can sell my Diplo, um, but the AI doesn't value it yet. Oh, they do. Oh. Oh, they value it now. Okay. Um, I could sell my Diplo. Um, what if I did like 10? Ooh. Okay, so there's 180 gold. That potentially is like a horseman or swordsman purchase. But I can't, I can't tech swordsman or horseman. I can levy this though. So that gets me a normal age. I need another 11 points. So, uh, real era trekker. So, civilization. Um, religion. Let me see. Three points from adopting all beliefs. So that's three. Let me let me get a notepad here while we do the math. I need 11 points. Three from adopting a religion. All the beliefs. That's what we're going to do. Three from a wonder, I think, right? Three from a wonder. Four from a wonder. Sorry. So that's seven. Inquisition. Does anyone know how much Inquisition is? It's probably two. one so that's a total of eight points i need another three need another three clearing the barb camp would do it so i need to put everything i can into getting over here and clearing this barb camp i might be able to bait this guy out with my archer and swoop in with a scout to clear it it might be a sacrificial move but i think i can do it i think i think it's very very tight but I think we can pull it off. We have to absolutely make sure all the right tiles are in the right places. But it's going to be a very, 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 very good build here. Natural disaster tile is only one. That is true. It is one. Um, we might be able to make that work. We'll see. I could also maybe find like another tribe of village or something with a scout. So there is potential error score hanging around. Oh, I can't get through here anymore. That's sad. So divine right has been boosted. Military tactics could also be. I hate that I had to build a couple of missionaries here, but I think it was necessary. So I'm hoping this spearman takes the bait, comes to attack my archer. I promote the archer, archer shoots, boom, boom, boom. And it all works out in my favor. 
I could also clear this barb camp for another two points. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I'm clearing this barb camp for two points, we're good. No, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're secure. We're 100% secure. No possible, no shot we don't get this. We have so many options for error score. We are 100% chance getting it. Go for faith project to buy a two apostles. I'm building a Mahabodhi temple. I'm chopping it out. That gets you two apostles. That will fully evangelize my religion and get me where I need to go. I have builders in position and then I just need to buy one more apostle to have 200 faith in the bank. I could probably buy another apostle or even another builder to speed up this city's chopping. Um, and I'm kind of tempted by the extra builder. So we're like playing Civ on a different level here today. This is like super hyper sweaty optimized Civ, which kind of has its own appeal. A lot of people, a lot of people asked me to do this before and I just never had the energy. I didn't care. I'm not liking this. Okay, so tile check. One, two, three chops. One chop, two chop, three chop. Mahabodhi's almost done. One more chop will do it. Next in the target is Feudalism for extra build charges and then Mont Saint Michel. Sweden asking for a war. <sighs> Unfortunately, yes, they are, but I don't think I can afford to. I will go ahead and take Moksha now and appoint them into Poznan, I guess, for the short term. That might not be where they end up. One, two, three. I need one more district around this. But absolutely, you should go Shrine. Um, yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. I'd love to place my second district, but I'm not sure where I want to put it yet. There we go. Mahabodhi Temple built in a single turn, essentially. Two diplomatic victory, point, two diplomatic victory points and two apostles immediately. That gets me up to 42 out of 49. I do my first evangelization. I do my second evangelization. Oh, careful. Evangelize. I come in here, my 42. Um, the beliefs I'm going to take here are holy orders plus... Two apostles to kill the boys. Ooh, I could have done that actually. I already built a galley. Let me have a think about this. All of these have a lot of value here. Well, Cathedral is nice because it gives me room for religious art, which makes my space, gives me room for more great works of art. And religious art, art is the hardest one to theme. So sometimes it's better to have it in a thing. Um, pagodas give you lots of diplomatic favor, which allows you to play the World Congress very heavily and also trade it to the AI, which has a lot of gold volume. Stupas, just generally good. Mosques, good for defending your religion. Gurdwara is really, really good for growing and getting extra di districts out. And we are going to need to get holy sites, theater squares, and commercial hubs out this game. So having Gurdwaras would be quite helpful. And Darae Marius just gives us a ton of faith. Um, religion art isn't relic. No, no, it's, it's religious works of art. I feel like it's between Pakoda and Gurdwara, and I'm leaning towards Gurdwara. Because that's an extra two food. It accelerates our growth rate. Significantly cutting down. What? Dear Blue? Did I miss a dono? Is immediately converting the... Dear Blue? I did acknowledge... I acknowledged the donation from Mazanti. Thank you so much for your from your 60-year-old dad for the 500 Danish kroners. Um, just like 70 to 100 euro I feel like it's Gurdwara here I you could very easily make an, ex, uh, an argument for Pagoda because diplomatic favor is just a really valuable tech but I'm going to go for Gurdwara 
that's a fully evangelized religion that's four error score now you could have argued that i should have kept those apostles around to defend but i think i can defend this for now I just need to do an inquisition here to see the best of content. Um, so now that I have done Mahabodhi, now I place the theater square. It's only a plus. This is not what I was meant to do. I was meant to do this. Eight turns. That's a lot longer than I thought it would be. But I don't need that error score until the error is over. So you can safely finish your granary then. Get ready to clear that. Yeah, I think we have this well and truly like in the bag. Yeah, I think we've got this in the bag. Like no shot. Did I forget that I don't have? We should be fine. We should be fine. Maybe he might die. Uh, let's just very quickly for security plug in discipline. So I don't lose that archer. Um, yeah, I think it's time for the I want to place my theater square, but I don't want it to be this low adjacency. But I'll place it even if I'm not going to finish it. Three more error score, chop it out. I think I can get the error score from killing barb caps. So I think I'm safe. I don't need any more error score. We could just we could just slow play this error now. Um, so it would be nice to get the Gurdwara A, growth, B, faith or rather reverse those one more monumentality would be super good I hear I just don't consider it rude. He makes videos for free daily. My father wanted to thank him. He has done all that he has done to be done ready. He said thank you, and that's all we needed. No, thank no, thank you so much. Um, I, I I really really super appreciate it. Uh, thank you, thank thank your father uh, and you for for donating to me. It's just like I was just like oh, I wonder how much that is. It's kind of like a. Uh, basically, my thought process was if if you're wondering why I looked up how much it was worth, is because if it's just a five dollar donation, right? If five hundred Danish kroners is five dollars i'm like oh hey thank you so much whereas if it's like fifty dollars or five hundred dollars then i gotta be like oh my god you're that's insane thank you so much don't you don't need to donate that right so like i need to have that knowledge to be able to appropriately respond to the donation that i'm being given you know what i mean um um friendship with dido yeah that's probably the same safe thing Okay, so now I need to bank faith. Not all donations are made the same. Well, I think that's like, all of them are like appreciated, but some of them are like crazy, you know, like in terms of like the the amount that they are. And I feel like if somebody's making a big donation, at the very least, I should know that they've done that and I can make an appropriate thank you. All right, nice. Put a missionary on the maze tile. That's actually a super five head play. I will do that. Good call. You go there. You're making your way around to here. And you'll go there. So we have enough chops potentially. Right. We're, we're kind of okay to continue now. Clear this camp. There we go. We just need one era score. All donations are appreciated. Just some are like huge donos. Like I'll read every dono, I feel like. I'm reading I'm reading all chat. There's no there's no one favorite chat. All of them get read. So 
So next turn, I can uh, I can inquis I don't actually have to clear this camp. I can inquisition for my error score. Personally, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please hear me out. The comment was I said about a young. That's all. YouTube comments, burning live and center. Okay, guys, you need to like, you guys need to, okay. Society pro tip 101, okay? Assume good faith. Or sorry, uh, foundational like society values 101, okay? Assume good faith and be forgiving, okay? Don't assume people are out to do evil shit, okay? Somebody says something that you're not sure you agree with. Ask clarifying questions. Be chill about it. Don't, like, react. It's fine. Look, it's not... It, it's fine. Do you ever alternate dark and heroic ages? I mean, it is a fun way to play, but it's not my preferred playstyle. Alright, nice. There's that. And I can now Faith Purchase Apostle. Inquisition, and then that's a Golden Age secured. Which is exactly what we want to be doing. Um, I think I want to get the Patron Saint if I can. Right? They can try. I have an apostle and I have Vratsrav, so I should be able to protect my religion, no problem. Good, 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 good. There's no religion over here, is there? No, there isn't actually. I think that's my religion spreading. Did I get the two people in the game that didn't get a religion? Perhaps, possibly. I think I did. You little pyramid building mother. Ever. What's the game plan? A relic tourism victory. That's Poland. Um, classical era ends in three turns. We got our shrine. Let's place the commercial hub, a rare early commercial hub, but I don't want to build it just yet. Your housing locked, granary for housing lock. I think this Poznan city is also housing locked, so it wants a grant. Oh no, it's got fresh water. What do you got going in here? Um, yeah, we kind of have to wait for some things, but that's okay. So what we'll do while we wait is make a granary to play for the late game. Take back Bandair Brunei, Susan D. Not that it really matters, just it's nice to have. And then we do the Inquisition. Boom. It's two error score, believe it or not. And there you go. We have secured a Golden Age with three turns left on the error. Now, we don't care about the next Golden Age, although it would be nice. We would actually like to go into a, a Dark Age, the era after this one, and then go back maybe two or three eras from now into a gold age, Golden Age. Without secret societies? Yes. Essentially, there are three ways to play Poland. There is uh, Vanilla Relic Poland, which is the build we're doing right now. Vanilla Domination Poland, which is another build I'm going to do. And then Secret Societies Poland, which is just like the objectively best way to play Poland. Um, but I'm doing a Poland overview. I've typed, I've typed it up. And now I'm confirming all of the information that I've gathered about Poland live on stream. So you guys can see how the game goes. Um, oh, I didn't need to research military tactics. That's a little bit of a wasted error score. Not the end of the world. Uh, we can come back now and do things like ironworking and maybe get apprenticeship. You know, we'll figure it all out. So there's the Gurdwara. Let's get the theater square now. Ooh, no. 
eh, you know what? This theater square is going to have the high adjacency. So I think I can be happy with a uh, three adjacency in a theater square. You park yourself there and you become a wall against any invasion from religious angles. Did you catch Poland Civ ability typo in game setups? Yes, I did. I've talked about it. That you don't actually need to build encampments to get a, a holy side adjacency. Okay, so we're all set up for another chop on Mont Saint Michel. We're a few turns away from that, but that's okay. Oh, you're converting. You little converting sausage, aren't you? Just doing all the converting. That's okay. My passive religion should take that out until they can embark. Okay, 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 okay. None of these are very good. So let me think. Um, so this feels a little bit obvious to me that a theater square could go here, a theater square could go here. A holy site could go here on the cattle, even though it's not amazing. And I will do that. I'll play for the late game, go for granary, so we can work more tiles. Probably not super hyper optimal, but it will allow me to place more districts. Stop researching horseback, just build pa pasture in lots, um, in woods. No, don't care. It's not in my priorities. Uh, I will faith by a settler here and I'll faith by a builder here I guess theoretically I could do that it is technically more efficient it is a little bit of science a little bit of overflow thank you for the twitch prime appreciate it builders can embark only they will eventually be able to embark their religious units so we headed to the medieval era in a second golden age, which is the correct way to play Poland. Um, and we take monumentality again. Yes. Because that'll allow us to buy our builders and get major, major, major tempo without having to stop and build them. Um, so am I reconsidering? Oh yeah, now we can clear this barb camp. It's within six tiles. We'll get three error score. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I'm kind of maybe reconsidering the positioning on these cities. Then again, here, one, two, three, city here, city here, city here. Do I care about this coastal tile? No, I don't like this coastal city. Fifty dollars and zero cents for my favorite Civ player. I hope your day is going well, Potato. Thank you so much, Sprongle, for the fifty dollar donation. My day is going really well. In fact, my whole week, my last couple of weeks of my life have just been fucking fantastic. I'm just waiting now for the, the hammer to drop in my head and things to get worse. But we'll see. Um. Ooh, yeah, I like snapping up this kind of an area somewhere in one of these three tiles I could settle the ivory and actually take the two elephants or if I settle here it's a little bit more conservative one two three I could settle somewhere here too uh, maybe like there ish and then one two three I could grab a one two three just a random coastal city like there and then I think this would round out my empire pretty nicely what do you guys think I already have amber, so I don't really care about this amber. I don't get a huge, a huge amount of value because I would have to change my tech path. I would have to tech celestial navigation. I would have to tech mass production. I would have to change my teching in order to take advantage of these of this coastal city. I could, I could culture bomb Bandar Brunei. That is true. That coastal city has too little space. One, two, three. One, two, three. It has coast and a little bit of tiles. I think it should be fine. Like if you think, look how, look how close these cities are. Look at this, right? Cities have an average of three to four tiles between them. This is like one, two, three, four, five tiles away. One, two, three tiles away. One, two, three, four, five, six, six tiles. It's fine. I think this is fine. I could theoretically, if I was being hyper greedy, okay? I could fit a city in there. I could fit a city in here. 
one, two, three, one, two, three. I could fit a city in here. One, two, three. I could fit a city in here. One, two, three. And I could fit a city in here. This is like Omega Greed mode. Do I want to be that greedy? I was going for a less greedy build for more tempo. I'm trying to think. I'm thinking about, is it worth it to be this greedy when you play? In this particular build. Any plans for Colosseum? Not right now. Let me see. I could maybe go for it in my capital. Let me think about where I would put it. Um, let's do a city overlap. So I guess I could do this. That's a um, six city overlap. So I could go like, I don't know, like entertainment complex. Coliseum in my capital. Like that would be pretty good. What else are you spending faith on? Well, after this, once I have him on St. Michel, most of my faith will be getting converted into apostles to go die as martyrs for relics. Okay, I'm going to do a vote in YouTube chat. Hang on. Greed? To greed? Or, or not to greed? Greed, not greed. I met in Blade Crash in the last two hours. God damn. I remember the days of autosaves not being built into games, dude. It was actually devastating if you forgot to save or you crashed. I just wanna I just wanna chat consultation. I know like 80% of you are gonna vote greed, but I just I need I need to I'm trying to think about like if I was thinking about this game properly, would I settle six cities here or would I settle four? Because if I think about this six extra cities is just like literally doubling my empire but is that like is that, that feels as hyper greedy are you going to build a canal city to the west honestly probably not it doesn't seem particularly useful it doesn't add much value to my empire. Six cities equals six more relics. I'm probably never going to get that many relics anyway. Um, and I'm going to have plenty of room for relics with my wonders. So I could either go for a conservative four cities or a greedy six. Let me do a compromise between greed and greed. I'm going to do a compromise, okay? I'm going to do a five city play. This is like, this is, I think a compromise between greed and not greed five cities, right? I knock off this low quality city, keep this really high quality city, keep this really high quality city, keep this okay quality city, keep this quite good quality city. And then keep like an average quality city. Like I think. Um, you could even make an argument. That I could kill this city. And it wouldn't hurt my build too much. But I'm going to keep it in. For the memes. Kek W. Why Kek W? Let me take a poll and let me not honor it completely. Listen, I'm honoring the poll. I'm going greedier than I did before. Hello, what the hell is my city doing next to the sea? Listen, you got to... That's your own thing to work out, okay? Uh, with the top right city settling for the top right error score. Oh, good call. 
Mm, within two tiles, it's mirrors, loyalty considerations. Do I want to settle there? It's an extra tile closer to these guys. It's the other thing. Honestly, I'd be more concerned with settling one tile to the left for defensive bonuses. Petra City, settle the pasture. I don't think we're getting Petra this game, boys. It's a very late Petra. We have a look. I mean, I'll try. I'll try to get the Petra. Settling the cattle doesn't actually make my Petra any better. It just makes the loyalty in this city worse. You could settle this city one tile to the right for a better harbor. I mean, the harbor is going here regardless. Regardless of where the city center goes. It'll still be plus four, but if I settle on the grassland hill with stone... Yeah, I think this. I think this is a. I think this is fine. Okay, this is the configuration I'm going for. This is the build. Confirmed. Um, so I was thinking about my mid to late game transition. It'll probably include banks of some kind to get extra gold. Um, new here from YouTube. Love your videos. Thank you. It'll probably include banks in the mid to late game. Um, I will want some defensive units, so m having tech towards machinery and crossbows would be good. I think having crossbow option would keep me safe. Um, we definitely want to maximize our faith game th gain this game. That's like critical to our plans. I'm still waiting with these builders for a chop. You, I want to improve dyes and stuff. You know what? I'm going to send this missionary to explore because they can walk through enemy territory unscathed. And then this missionary will hold the pass. And I'm tired of microwing scouts. Are national parks going to make their way into the build? Probably not compared to apostles. Double... little bit of great rider ridge going on i think i'd like to get great scientists blocked they're probably going to vote great admirals though so i'll just do that too who's the most hated player this is like the best use for global relations uh it looks like the most hated player is sweden F you, Sweden. Sweden and... Oh, double great scientists. Okay, so I mispredicted that. There's the theater square error score. We need a lot of error score here. Um, we're still waiting on that. There's the theater square. I suppose we could justify chopping out the Colosseum. Serfdom is like necessary now. I'll plug in Core V when I'm building the actual wonder. Um, but the big thing for me now is spamming out settlers. I'm trying to claim these tiles before they go the way of the dodo. You got your theater square, you have your holy site. Um, theoretically, there's a really nice camp, uh, commercial hub right there. Which does feel like the natural extension of this build. So does a diplomatic quarter in all honesty. Although this place also needs a builder. So maybe I could, well... Let's get a builder. And then we'll think about what we want to do next. Probably amphitheaters to start earning great works. I know I can buy builders with faith, but my faith right now is being used on... Spam settlers in Magna City uh, n did not take free settler thing. So it's better to buy settlers, plus these are closer to the front line. I served them in Poland run, just like real life, Pog. It's repeating. We're looping! Alright, things are looking okay for me. I feel I did I feel like I've been in like an amazing position. 
I can buy a settler in two turns. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Wait. Uh, yeah, I don't want to crush my marsh tile. My marsh tiles are too good, I think. Just lost your religion and cap. Oh, shh. How? Hold on. It'll come back, right? Copium? Let's just make sure it does. Inquisitor. Um, also, I need lumb I need lumber mill, so I'm going to harvest that deer. No, I don't want to harvest in here just yet. I want to use Magnus, do a world tour with Magnus to harvest things. There's the holy site. Um, I kind of wish this was a theater square. I'm going to put a theater square here so I can get that boosted. You built a granary. Good job. We're still waiting for Mont Saint Michel chopping. Oh, we're just waiting for these tiles to be chopped in general. But you can place your theater square now. I think that'll be a reasonable thing to do. Um, faith purchasing you. Come here. Clean up that city. Clean up the city. I think I'm going to go watermill so I can get a uh, long... I'm playing for the late game in that city, basically. What happens to the marsh tile if you try and put a farm on it? Uh, if the marsh tile has a farmable resource, it just improves it. If it does not, you have to harvest it. I don't think we're going to get to the point in the game where the Maracana is super relevant. So I'm not worried about optimizing this placement for the Maracana. I can always just build another one over here. Okay, so we settled on this monument first, always in fresh cities. And then I think we buy this tile so we can culture bomb it later. How long until friendship ends? 10 more turns. That should be enough. She'll be a little bit upset with me forward settling her. Quote unquote forward settling her. Um, arena. Next turn we chop Mont Saint Michel. Should I chop Mont Saint Michel or should I chop the other one? I think Mont Saint Michel is more integ in in integral to my build. So I'm going to chop Mont Saint Michel rather than Colosseum. I'm okay with losing Colosseum. Super not okay with losing Mont Saint Michel. Ideally, I would get both, but you know, you kind of have to make compromises. So we can go to Monarchy, which I probably will do. Air score. Um, retainers, I'll start. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, do not finish machinery. Um, I'll, gotta, I'll buy a whole bunch of scouts. So, retainers. And Gothic Architecture. Uh, Gothic Architecture. I would love to plug an Autocratic Legacy as well. I'll plug that in over Urban Planning just for now. Because I'm specifically looking to build Mont Saint Michel. And then we'll Magnus Chop here. All those tiles are appropriate. Boom. 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 That's good. That took a good old chunk out of that. And then the big thing is to also get another builder in here to re-improve these tiles. Buy ourselves another settler to move to the front line. Be careful for more religious units. I'm not worried about that. I think we have that well under control. Yeah. I think we have the religion game under control. Sweden has warriors in the water. It'll be fine. Um, so... Oh no, actually, we're not going monarchy. We're going theocracy. Because we want that 15% discount on faith purchases, which will allow us to spam apostles to get relics. Even though monarchy is really, really good. 
it's fine. We'll have to just do some changes. Do you have a victory condition of mine? Tourism. I'm going to declare a friendship here. <sighs> she's she's going to go to war with me. It's happening. Change green card? Oh shit, I should have. Sorry. Um, if the AI ever refuses a friendship with you, it usually means they're not, they're going to declare war with you. She's moving troops towards me. She sees me as weak and vulnerable. Need to increase my military score. Because I do have to go to machinery as much as I want to buy scouts to give myself our garrisons. To play a little bit defensively here. Either I'm very late in getting the required advance or the AI gets it very often. Lumber mill. It's rare that I opt for a lumber mill, but in this situation, I think it's appropriate. Ancient walls in here in case they come across the water. All of these Magnus tiles have been chopped. Let's reassign Magnus to Vratsrov. Assign you to the capital. And then we can start getting our chop on in Vratsrov. You want to sell me a great work? No, thank you. I am saying this right. Somebody told me it's, it's Vratsrov, right? Vratsrov. Galley? I already built a galley. Ooh, galley to scout. Have you put on the Limes card yet? No. I'm kind of hoping that it isn't necessary. Two turn civic to switch card to Limes. Okay, I think we could take off focus and just kind of like prioritize tiles as they come. Ooh, that's not good. Shouldn't be doing that. 11 pop city with not enough tiles to work. That's the issue. Yeah, that's more like it. I don't think it makes much much of a difference actually really so I think the city is working reasonable reasonable things um, I really want apprenticeships before I go for crossbows now that might bite me in the ass but we'll see how she goes Yeah, this looks like an invasion to me. Yeah, that's definitely an invasion. That's all right. We're well prepared for it. Um, I'll trade with Pandar Brunei. I'll bring these archers over. i got to worry about Dido too after this, so... I mean, we've made it this far without being invaded, so we're doing we're doing all right as Poland. <laughs> Haven't been invaded yet. Could sell her some luxuries for raw gold. I could. I don't have any spares. I'll take her raw gold though. PLM 100.00, hey. You've got by Gus to live in this city. Oh. Nice. Congrats. You live in a city. Well done. Would you like to know more? 
the le the what I don't see that letter I know this is like woods or something or woods if it's natural to kill okay open borders just ended between us how would you like to do another open borders Let's just quickly do this. I would, 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 ji, would, ji, would, kind of like that. If you come to Dido's military ally, based. I'll pay for that. Extra 30 turns. Extra 20 turns on alliance. Easy. Which. Alright. Reform church next. Let's go. What do you want? Hold on. I gotta feed the rabbit. Give me, give me like a minute. She's like. She's, she's cracked out. What's wrong with you? Hey. What do you want, baby? Huh? You, want, you got lots of fresh hay. You want to be petted? Oh, good girl. What do you want? You want to come out? I know. It's only like 9 o'clock. You got to count your little rabbit kids. Like, I'll get you some food, though. I love your food. Do you want some biscuits? Little rabbit oh, there you go, good girl. Oh, good girl. That's my baby. The only thing I wish rabbits did, uh, like cats and dogs do, is I wish rabbits talked. They don't talk. Famously not very chatty. Did you ever visit Poland? I know it's a poop hole, but still. Uh, no, actually. But I would like to go to Poland. I heard you guys have got good kielbasa. Or something. Um, your cats and dogs talk like they well they don't talk but like if you're hanging out with a cat they're like meow, meow. and like depending on their mood like and you how you approach them they'll like make different little cat noises Poland isn't a poop hole listen we're trying to be a family friendly streamer Poland, biggest import is copium. True. We are all apprentices. Um, get the rabbit a voice machine, dude. I would do it instantly. Um, so we have our walls up. I think we build one. We built like one pikeman or man at arms. We built a single man at arms for um, pasta variety. No, for um, what's the word? You know the thing I'm talking about. Uh, combat strength on our city. So, machinery. Let's go through and make sure we buy. Scouts for amenity garrisons. I 
Okay, amenity garrison secured. Another settler. And then we just need one more settler and our build is essentially complete. I theoretically, should I settle a canal? You know what? I'll settle a little meme canal city, okay? Just for chat. Research crossbows for better city shot. I want to hold off on researching crossbows so I can buy scouts for retainers to get extra amenities in my cities. But we'll, you know, we're kind of working on that. Sweet, Sweden is coming for that kielbasa. Let me tell you, she heard me say kielbasa and she came straight over, like storming over with fury. Um, it is a nice bottleneck, but she can embark, so it's not super relevant. Uh, let's do this. Definitely would like another builder or two. I don't even know what we're chopping out, but we could chop out maybe a wonder or something like Kotoku. Count Dooku in. <laughs> I always thought it was funny. I saw a meme and someone was like, you get Christopher Lee to act in your like super epic like Star Wars movie and you literally name him like Lord Poop. <laughs> Count Dooku. <laughs> okay, so Dark Age is actually kind of what we want. Only if Dido gets golden, it's bad, but we can maybe survive it. Um... I want two more settlers, so I'll have to be a little bit light on the fate spending. I can maybe get one more builder. Amphitheater. So we got the amphitheater. Kotuku in. I mean... Nah. Nah. I think we just do this. We get the commercial hub for the late game tourism and su Suki nice. <gasps> That's not where I meant to put it. I was meant to put it over there. Oh, well, I meant to put it over here because that would have been a plus four. That would have got me my Eureka thingy. The nice one. Rip. I already have a military alliance with Dido, correct? Uh, oh, I didn't mean to buy that tile. It scared me. It made a noise. Holy site plus two. I'm going to just put it right there. That's a chop. Watermill Granary. Play for the late game in these cities. You, on the other hand, I can finally come in here and place that holy site. Potato doing random, random noise. It scared me. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be a moan, okay? <laughs> Stop being weird and chat. I'll start banning people. I got I got spooked and I made a, a, a high pitched feminine noise. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Stop typing O with the little squiggles after it. <laughs> okay, machinery. Uh, Itza. Ah. Could have been male, well, you know. I, it, it was it was definitely a male noise, but it was a feminine male noise. Okay, it was a very, very feminine male noise. Um, just to clarify, okay. So where are we situated? Mont Saint Michel is on the way. We almost have a man at arms. We're well defended. We're missing ancient walls in here. God, if I take one turn to research it, though, it'll be the end of me. Could you give me a friendship? Fuck, she wants to kill my ass. Do I go full locust mode in the city? Or do I play for power late game? I have nothing to locust out, in all honesty. So I should probably just play for late game. Play for late game is reasonable. Um, Niter is always handy to have, but I'm kind of interested in getting to banking. So stirrups, knights can be helpful. Uh, 
My capital is very, very hungry for districts. I'm never going to get one of these. <laughs> Rip. Um, okay. How are we doing? I may go into a dark age here. Okay, there's the war deck that we were expecting. So there it is. We expected this. I must get you a question. I'd love to be Susan of Arma. I'd love to be Susan of Yorma. Oh yeah. Okay. Should be a fairly straightforward defense. Pick up a little cash. Crossbowman will upgrade my city shots. Easy clap. Boom. Nice one. Firearms, maybe I can debate them over to try and hunt down my builders. Um, there's eight turns left on the era. That's faith by more builders. I'm going to move Magnus out of the city and move him into Wood. 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 Um, some of these cities need like builders to get them kickstarted. Like, plulululak. Gnitho. Bagadudes. I think this guy's pretty good at save. I mean, it's turn 66. And I have 44 science and culture. 55 culture. I'm doing like pretty good. I feel like. I've got double golden ages. i got a seriously powerful religion. I'm about to start getting relics. It's all coming together. <sighs> Can't get him. That's fine. I do need to come in here and switch this out. I'll do it at Reformed Church. That's fine. Um... I'd love to be buying more tiles. My gold income is just bad. My suki, my when my suki nice comes online though, that'll uh, it'll make a difference. All right, shoot. That's good damage. You shoot there. You step up. You fortify. You're fine where you are. Um, do this. Good tiles. Head south. Head south. What are you working? Yeah, a mine there is fine. You're heading up. Settle a city. Don't love this city. Warsaw. Not my favorite city, but it's decent. I could, but I'd limit this out on the olive and we'll figure it out. But I feel like we're set up for an incredible late game. Mont Saint Michel's about to finish. Um. Mm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait a turn before I go forward. I do want to improve this, but I can't afford it. What should these nuts? I want to say that I love your Against the Storm videos. The game reminds me of Banish, but more in depth. Honestly, it, it's just, it kind of reminds me of like somebody made like a Warcraft 3 city builder. That's like what someone said. I think it might have been Splattercat that said that. And he was super on point. So there's Reformed Church. We can switch to Theocracy, which is the build we want to be in. Um, which means... We don't want limes anymore, or limes. We want retainers. Gothic architecture is fine. Scripture is super good. And then it's a question of like urban planning for plus 10 production or simultaneum. I think the plus 10 production across our empire just seems really hard to turn down. Can you guys think of anything else I would replace it with? <sighs> oh yeah. That needs to go. I always forget about my green cards. <laughs> Get that American citizenship, boys. Potatoes. Black cat. Wars of religion. Bastions. I think I can defend without either of those. Autocratic Legacy, this could be a valid choice. I think I would prefer production over all of this in one city. 
prefer production across my empire rather than all yields concentrated in one city. Martyr does not work if your apostles get condemned. That's correct. Conscription. I'm not building units. I have only a few. It's five gold per turn versus ten production. Your gold income is low. It will increase soon. I think we're. F I think this government is fine. No need for Gothic architecture anymore. Are you crazy, bro? I'm literally going straight into building like Saint Basil's Cathedral and Colosseum. <laughs> we definitely need that card. You could maybe argue that I don't need it for two turns, but we definitely need it. Easy. Where Petra? Oh, shh. It's going to be tight. It's going to be a very, very tight Petra. But it might be able to be done. Banks would be a good follow up. Um, do you think a plus six holy site is worth it to put next to a vault? I think it is. But I am going to play for the late game. Buy workers. I'm going to buy some over here. Um, like in Warsaw and stuff. Builder. Let me think about this positioning wise. Poznan is doing work. Trader is Vratra. Theater Square. Let's get that Gurdwara. Faith and Growth. Mm. I'm like radar scanning for things to improve. Lumber mills in Poznan would make a huge difference, actually. What tier one government plaza building did you take? I took the one that gave me audience chamber. Uh, extra housing and amenities. I prob you could probably make an argument that I should have gone for the settler the settler one like totally valid to get the free builders but I, I guess I valued the amenities and housing a lot more um, I mean yeah I think I think I think it would be valid to criticize that as a mistake if you if you really do think that that was an error on my part I would agree what a sad war this is from Sweden I mean they're not really committing they're just kind of dabbling um, I'm gonna see if I can get a better deal for my elephants thank you Okay. So the knight is a little bit of a problem. So trading externally is worth a lot of gold. I could trade with my capital. Housing is limited. If I trade with my capital, pole position, five food, two production, four gold versus, yeah, I think it's better to internationally trade for gold right now because gold is what I'm lacking. Everyone wants a link to the potato whiskey clip regarding this. Whisper you at the link, please, or something like that. Jesus Christ, you guys are creepy. Like you've never made a weird noise in your life. You know what I'm saying? Mm, maybe that wasn't the right choice. We'll see. We have been on the live broadcast. True. <laughs> True. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. Lumber mill. Yeah, that's like an extra two production in the city. That's huge. What do we got here? Not really much in the way of improvements here. I think I'll send this builder to the east. 
Owie! My scout died due to negligence. Whoops. Kabul just got absolutely shrecked. Um, so I did finish the Man at Arms, which gives me an extra unit to protect myself with. Let's go ahead and do this. The You shoot there, and you shoot there. You come into the city and promote with garrison. <clears throat> and that will be good enough to hold. You got your Man at Arms. Get the commercial hub now. No, get the get the watermill and the good rara we'll figure this out um let's go ahead and faith by builder it's like faith by a load of builders should cover me for like majority of the rest of the game all these builders should which is fantastic do you have any relics yet I do not have any relics yet. Unfortunately, in the base game, getting relics is quite hard, and I only just finished Mont Saint Michel. I'm still in my monumentality golden age, but the second this era ends, I will start generating relics once I can get peace with Poland and look for somebody to throw my uh, apostles and missionaries into. Speaking of which, like, what religions are going? I can't believe she got like a foothold over here. It's kind of blown my mind a little bit. Um, yeah, arena completed. That's a Colosseum. Well and truly on the way. I want to chop out this Petra once Magnus is established. You're heading this general direction. A lot of my builders are kind of at loose ends. Which is kind of fine. Christina is the love of my life. Don't hurt her, Potato. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but... uh not going to end well for Christina over here. You know what? There's actually... I could have got a Golden Age here. Hold on. <sighs> Guys, I need your input on Golden Age. I got three turns to get six error score. Levy City State, yep, that's potential. Naval unit, I've already built a galley. Settle Wonder. Yep, that's a little bit of air score. Did you Inquisition yet? Yes, I did. Have you done a horse unit? I have not done a horse unit. I could do a horse unit. Anyone got any horses to sell? Bruh, they don't change their priorities. I'm going to have to do that next turn. But I can't do it fast enough. Chop Coliseum. No chops available. Chop Petra. 37 production. Magnus establishes in two. Very low percentage chance that that works. Let me think about this right. Petra is four. Then I just need two error score. Oh, if I settle next to this, I think I can do it. Actually, I should be fine. I just need like gold. I just need gold. So I can maybe buy a horse or something. I think we got it. I think I want to start getting my great work. So I'm going to start emphasizing theater squares. Chop cows to get Petra City bigger. I don't think that's as important as just straight up chopping. Petra is three. It's medieval already. Mm, we'll see. Oh, I think you're right. I think it is three. So then I need another three. New continent? No. Um... 
Pound Maker Alliance. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh. Easy clap. Easy fucking clap. Who said Pound Maker Alliance? Martin Cuffer, you're a hero. Triple Golden Age Poland. Lucky? Not lucky, okay? It was easy. Don't even at me, okay? Actually, the easiest Golden Age I've ever secured in my entire life. The easiest Golden Age. I've ever secured. <laughs> Classic streamer look, not even a moan. Listen to you, you're getting very cheeky. And listen, you guys are getting a little bit too antsy in chat. We're going to have to start doing some culling. Some Edward culling. <laughs> some Edward culling, Jesus Christ. Um, I just levy your horse. I think I can just settle next to this natural wonder and I get it. Who cares if you're not on fresh water, if you're getting a golden age. I think you should use this golden age to not harm my darling Christina. Listen, I'm sorry to tell you, but Christina's getting it. That sounded wrong. It is the mark of an educated mark in diplomacy. Get fucked. Why not do horse and settle on fresh water? I mean, I guess that's fine. Easy. Get Poundmaker into Christina War. Um, hello, my good sir. Would you like to join my war? Uh, how about for like a uh, gold? You will. Thank you. Christina killed Descartes. Don't put Descartes before the horse. Um, right, I would like to build a theater square. I would like to build it there. Uh, Gurdwara, good job. You're at eight of nine pop. Let's get a spee. Fuck yeah. Uh, did you actually get to use any of the Poland bonuses? I mean, we used the holy side adjacency. When we get relics, we'll get cool bonuses. Gotta be honest with you, Poland is kind of crap. <laughs> this game, this particular game is just cracked. Um, so I think, I think I piece Poland. I piece, in one turn I piece her and then just send her a wave of missionaries. Did you evangelize yet? Yeah, that was one of our major early game goals that we, we got around to. Um, yeah, let's get as much faith as possible. Faith feels like God tier. Poland's really fallen from grace. I, mean, I, I wish Poland was just a better sieve. They just, they feel like they got poorly balanced. Um, one turn until Magnus will chop out the Petra. Good man yourself, my friend. And go there. Easy. Are you going to keep calling Amsterdam Poland? What? Do Petra next era? Yeah, I probably will. This probably won't finish it, to be honest, those chops. <coughs> the only problem 
<clears throat> excuse, excuse me, I have to clear my throat there. The only problem with this game that we went a little bit greedy in is that my empire is now too big for me to manage it. <laughs> it's too big. It's too big. Um, that's one turn, Celestial Nav. We'll wait. Suffering some from success? Exactly. You know, it's it's rare that someone in chat understands my struggles. But when they do... I appreciate it. Jesus, run away. <laughs> Make peace. I, I'll take that deal. I don't want to be at war with her. What I want to be doing is mass mass buying apostles to send at her we could also go for a religious victory here the thing is though like it's turn 74 or turn 150 in a normal game and this reliquary's belief has literally done nothing for us this entire game i mean like i think we even checked a few times to see if there was relics to buy and there isn't at least none that people want to like sell um so yeah i don't know it's uh you know You know how it is. Um, let's go ahead and faith by apostle, apostle. Technically, I could have gone for apostle sooner. Did she even do anything to potato? She killed one unit. What do we go for next? We're not. We're not going to be spending our faith on builders. We're going to be spending it on apostles to get martyr relics, which is what these guys are for. spread religion i could theoretically i could probably easily win it like here's the here's the thing about this build is it's just like honestly if i had taken like a different founder belief i like if i had taken work ethic i think i would have just won a religious victory by now this is why relic poland sucks like this is entire portion of the game where i haven't gotten the relic race i'm still going to commit to the builds i think i like the movement movement matters Um, yeah, faith. You gotta have faith. <sighs> 22 great rider points in Indonesia. That is concerning. I'm gonna have to reprioritize towards amphitheaters and theater squares. That's okay. You gotta have chop, chop, chop. You gotta have chop, chop, Petra chop. Is a brilliant display. I can't even afford the Petra tiles. God damn it. Secret, yeah, Secret Society is also super late game. Um, and it also just like, it makes any faith save just busted really secret societies just isn't very well balanced like if we're if we're, if we're on the topic of secret societies I, I talked about this i think this is like my third time to say it this game but there's three versions of poland right there's relic poland which is what we're playing right now there's domination poland which uh, we could play another day which i intend to and then the secret society poland which is just busted compared to the other two Worst timed dono ever. True. You silly little man. If you're going. Relic Poland, why wouldn't you play Secret Societies plus Void Singers? Seems like that would be the easiest relics. Um. What are you doing? I'm going to let you out later. you got to calm down, okay? I don't think it matters when I pick truffles, whatever. Eve, please. I swear to God, Eve. 
you're a small fluffy mama, okay? Definitely feel like I need to buy these Petra Hills. Hero Relics too. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. I suppose you could say there's four, like, a like Poland plus Secret Societies and Heroes and Legends, like, just makes them crazy good. That's not his rabbit, that's his girlfriend. Listen. Don't be weird, guys. I don't have a girlfriend. Sag. All right, uh, some of these guys are going left. Some of these guys are going right. May as well spread my religion a little bit. Apostle. Got a relic in Arabia game to sell it for 30 gold per turn. That's pretty damn good. Jesus, this float plane has just gone nuts here. Shout out to Kerry for winning the All Ireland. I didn't watch it, so I'm happy for you. Nice, nice. Four error score. God, we're just actually. Are we actually just running away with this game or what? Feels like it. So I think Can you just park your apostles by a volcano? I don't think that works. Never tried it, but I don't think it works. Potato, do you ever say the phrase not so but so? No, but I have said it now. So like if that's a thing that you wanted me to say, I fully expect you to donate me, me for uh, for fulfilling your strange little fantasy. Bro, I'm getting attacked. Run. While the Coliseum There's the Colise Coliseum. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We love to see it. Now, with the Coliseum in place... That's a huge amount of culture, a huge amount of amenities, a huge amount of just everything. Uh, now we'd like to get St. Basil's for the relic tourism boost. 100% religious tourism from the city plus one food. We don't care about the Tundra bonus, we care about the relic slots. So we can pack as many relics into the capital as, as possible and get those super yields. Let's get our banks up. That's the next step in the evolution of this build. Also commercial hubs. Feels good, man. Uh, we definitely would like to be friends with... Potatoes. I'm going to wait a turn about my own voice. Thank you, Zyphir. Um, I need to make sure I'm continuously purchasing apostles to send to go die. Mine. Mine. Oh, yeah. Woo, yeah. Look at that city. She's a thing of beauty. My gold is shooting up. Do you plan a Crystal Red and Tor rush? Yeah, Crystal Red and Tor is like the next wonder we're going for, for sure. And then maybe Seaside Resorts with Eiffel, something like that. Could be the could be the play. Could be the play. Are we gonna go for walls? Well, we don't have to make that decision until we're close to ideology. But we are getting close to where we need to make that decision. 10 euros and zero cents. I'm fond of pigs. I'm fond of you. Yep. How do you feel about that one? Choose Nacho. Thank you for the dono. I appreciate you. Oh, he killed me. 
So my hope is to bait Sweden into amazing, epic Wizard Wars. Sweden, come fight me in Wizard War. Chichen Itza over here. Frederick Picatarja. Why not? I am going for a cultural victory, so I need to start thinking about where's my tourism coming from. It should be coming from relics, but like, I don't know. This is, uh... I don't know if this build really works. I'm gonna have to think about it. I think we are gonna have to go walls eventually, but it'll probably be after I have my theater squares up. We'll, we'll do walls soon, TM. Ten euros and zero cents if there are no dogs in heave. Thanks <laughs> for the dono. I don't know why that was so funny. There's no dogs in heave. <laughs> why? I can't explain that one to you. I'm sorry. Um, theater squares are coming up. That's good. Although, Guitarja, everyone is going for great writers in this game. Very culturally heavy game. It's going to be competitive for culture, that's for sure. Um, but that's what I signed up for. I signed up for a tough game because I'm a tough cookie. Silly Billy. I love the phrase Silly Billy. It's a great phrase. Ew, potato cookies? What? <clears throat> Why are you hating on potato cookies? Like... You ever have a potato cookie? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Hating on him and he's never had him. Why are you like this? Isn't that just a potato chip? What? universe do you live in in which a cookie and a potato chip occupy the same category of food because i want to live in that one it sounds based five dollars and zero cents it wasn't a weird fantasy but money is money and this is a payment for two years ago when you helped me bypass the 2k launcher via steam hey thank you so much well i'll accept it um appreciate you Potato, do you know about potato pancakes? You mean Spanish pancakes that they make in Spain? A country I have been to <laughs> because I, it's where like a lot of people go on holiday in Europe. Wait, I might wait. Or is it Spanish omelets they make with? Oh shit. Do they? Oh, no, no, I mixed them up with Spanish omelettes. Spanish omelettes use potato, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Germany makes potato pancakes. Okay, well, my brain cross-referenced the two things. Cross the links. The cables touched. Latkes. What's your favorite dinosaur potato? Hmm. Dino Nickus is pretty good. I also like um, the Brontosaur. He's just a big boy. Um, there's a few like little ones I like too, but they're pretty niche. You wouldn't have heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
What about the Irish potato candy a la Philadelphia, which has no potato? I still think if you're going to call something XYZ candy, it should at least have the flavor or ingredient of that thing in it. So if you're going to call something potato candy, it should either have like potato starch in it somewhere or it should taste like a potato. I don't think I, I think you just you're just lying to people. Do apostles grant relics if they get condemned? Only No, only if they're killed in religious battle like they're about to over here, which is exactly what we want. Yes. Go on, my son. Get yourself killed. Go on, you little martyrs. Oh, you little martyrs. Go on. This is where things are about to pop off for us here. Pretty much sums up Philly. Um, so what's your opinion on rock candy? Not enough rocks. Yes. <laughs> yes, Giga Chat. <laughs> but nobody expects rocks to be a food, right? That's the difference. Do you want to make an art museum or an archaeological museum? It feels like uh, maybe an archaeological game. At least in some of these cities. Potato about to miss the golden age, then the winged hussars arrive. True. Oh shoot, I could have used the winged hussars for that actually. Good shout. I didn't even think of that. Um do ah, you're out of range for the pa 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 Of course, this is naturally a shipyard build. You go there, they go and prove that. Have you tried Religion Expanded or Civ Expanded? I've tried Religions Expanded and I really like it. It's quite a good mod. Um, but I prefer not to play my game modded um, for a very, very simple reason, kill. Um, and that's because if other people are, if people are watching my videos and learning how to play the game, I prefer it if they don't have to install a mod to follow what I've done. Right, lovely, first relic. All right, boys. Give me your happiest emojis in chat because we just got a pa we just got an actual real living relic. That took us a long ass time, but there it is. Ooh, 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 ooh. White people. I want white people happies. I want but not potato pepega isn't a happy emoji. Okay, I don't know why you chose that one. This is very, very pog. Um, very much so pog. I want a few art museums, I guess. What's that? Archaeological art museum, art museum. I've got three art museums coming, which I think you should build a minimum of three in your games. The definition of Pog, true. Your mom is the definition of Pog. Woo yeah. Woo yeah. Woo yeah. Oh yes, kill me. Kill me. Spread your religion. Kill me. I knew I should send them both directions. Potato, do you have open borders? Unfortunately, my borders are closed. I generally don't let people into my house. Thanks for asking, though. But it is a good time to start getting open borders now that I'm generating tourism. You have enough relic slots? One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus three. Theoretically more on the way. Yeah, I should probably prioritize temples actually.
Kill me. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it begins, my friends. My friends, it begins. It begins. Oh. 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 <laughs> yes. Feed me my relics. What are you building? Oh, it's I thought that was Crystal Redentor. It has the same base. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Welcome to the new tourism. Home of the old tourism. Not like that new Kanye. Only two more relic spaces. Listen, I'm building shrines. I'm building temples. Okay, I'm re I'm reprioritizing towards the uh, temples. If you slay me, I will only become stronger. Was that Obi Wan that said that? What a loser. Imagine dying in a movie. Okay, XW. Uh, listening post. I don't know what to do with this guy. I don't know what to do with my spy. Nobody has any money to steal. Literally, I'm the only one with money to steal. They're probably all stealing my money. In fact... Great work heists. Super low value. When you could just... Like... Buy them. You know what I'm saying? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got room for eight. Let's get purchasing. Let's sell off everything first. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 Three, four, five, six. Oh, I could probably buy two more, right? Yeah, I could. Hey, Potato, I just got here, but with the apostles and dying getting and, and getting relics, is that a religion trait? That is a martyr trait that is given through the Mont Saint Michel wonder. So my tourism just like shot up pretty, pretty nicely, actually. Um, I have room for two more relics. So I think I can safely attack there. And I want to get this guy killed. But otherwise, I want to wait for more temples to finish before I like really commit harder. Do, do, do. Um, I should probably get trade routes with every save in the game. That seems like it would be a good move. And by doing so, I will get tourism boost with every save in the game. So trade routes are going to be coming online soon. I should have a third one, apparently. I wonder why that is. Ah, harbor. I built a harbor. So let's make use of that. I can't do that yet. Um... Based one turn temple. Um, you go ahead and counter spy on that tile. This is where the AI is most likely to target me. Friendship with Maya. Oh, yeah, relic. Refuse. Okay, printing. I could go for that. Let's go for friendship. Declare resident embassy. Got friendships across the board. How's our tourism looking? 179 tourism. Now, a lot of our religious tourism is being knocked down by enlightenment, which means we want to rush for mass media. We probably also want to look into building walls soon, um, but I should at least get amphitheaters up so I can buy things. Um, great works. Really do want to... I need to head towards steel, so I'm going to have to start building those walls soon. 
So it's just a matter of like, when do I decide to pull the trigger on walls? Um, doo -doo -doo. Is urban planning really that valuable to me now? Or would I rather merge in confederation? Or theater, extra culture? 20, 23 culture feels like pretty huge. It feels hard to stick with urban planning when I've got 23 culture on the table. <sighs> what do you guys think? Yeah, it's several, like it's several turns off every civic. It's true. Like it's 100, yeah, 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 yeah. The only thing I think I'm waiting for now is the World Congress session to hit on whether or not I want to go for walls. Because if I get the 100% production building in, in campuses, that'll be super helpful. I have room for two more. Kill me. Room for another. Extra trade route. Trade routes to city states. I think I would rather go. This goes to Sweden so I could maybe get a tourism y one. Bear, bear, bear. You need to calm down, Eve. Is Valletta on the map? I don't see Valletta. Nope. Nope. Ooh, Yerevan, though, would have been good. Actually. Yeah, that's something I forgot to do. I forgot to use my own boys. I'll get that sorted here in a second. I'm missing a lot of faith because of that. Right, Temple. Um, I think we can send in... Send in the clown. The cloon. The Laffy Daffy cloon. How has only one GM been taken? Also Kilwa. Kill was gone. What do you mean by GM? Great merchant? Nobody built the uh, great merchant thingies. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Okay, I have room for four more great works of writing. Three, four. Easy. Kill me. Whatever is contrary. Kill me. Beautiful. Great artist. Art museum's finishing in this city, I guess. Hang out there. We got our first archaeological museum. That's good news. Um, may as well crank out a thingy. Should I have serfdom still plugged in? I theoretically you could plug out serfdom until I need to actually build builders. That would open up a new slot for me. Like fresco. What do you guys think? Does having a dark age have negative tourism impacts? Not really, as far as I can tell. Envoy card? Oh yeah. Um this I don't need, I don't, uh, frescoes give me no benefit right now. I have no art museums. Liberalism is pretty good. Does it boost me? Yeah, it boosted a couple of my cities to happy, so that's pretty good. Um, so what was I going to do? I was going to do a thing. There was a thing I was going to do, and it was envoy related if I do this. So get an envoy in each of these guys, and it gets doubled. And then I can go up to temple level with you and you. Boom, 375 faith per turn, easy. God, that's a lot of faith. Um, so rock bands are going to be the natural follow-up to this, I think. Rock bands against Christina. And I'm well ahead of her culturally, so she won't be able to stop me. Did we do any conquering this run? No, zero conquering, totally pacifist Poland. 
Say that five times fast. Pass with Poland, pass with Poland, pass with blah, blah, blah. Now I get the feeling he does that intentionally. <laughs> Pass a fist, Poland. Okay, we are going into Dark Age, but we're in good position. Um, what are you going to do with this much faith? Uh, rock Bands. We'll go for Crystal Red and Tor. Transition into Rock Bands. And try to rush down the victory. Um... I may as well get a kill. Why not, right? Um, ba -ba -ba. Let's get natural history so we can get our artifacts up soon. No naturalists? Yeah. I guess... Here, there's a naturalist. Holy site commercial hub industrial zone. Let me have a little think. Uh, where is my city overlap button? There we go. I think if I put an industrial zone on this tile, I will net myself a huge AOE production boost. I don't need another district in here, do I? No, I think we take the industrial zone. I never went Diplo quarter this game, which is probably a mistake, but it was kind of a necessary mistake. I have no idea what tourism does. Buckle up. I'm about to explain tourism. <coughs> okay, I'm going to explain this extremely quickly. And I will not be repeating myself. Okay. You have culture. And you have tourism. You can win the game by using tourism. This is your defense. This is your offense. Okay. Tourism attacks culture. Culture defends against tourism. Now, for every 100 culture you get equals one tourist. Okay? That's what this number comes from here. This means Dido has earned 6,000 tourism. Okay? But it's not as simple as that. Because in actuality, what's happening is tourism steals tourists and turns them into um, what are they called again? Um, visiting tourists. Fuck, I fucked that up. Hold on. Visiting tourists, okay? Tourism steals tourists and turns them into visiting tourists which is this number here, okay? This is your defense, this is your offense. In order to win the game, you have to steal enough of these, you have to steal enough of these and turn them into these so that you have more of these than any one player has of these. Now, to steal a tourist, it costs like 200 times N, where N N equals number of 
players. Okay, so in this particular game, the example number that we'll use with a six-player game is you need 1,200 tourism to steal a single tourist. Now, the important thing about tourism is that you actually apply that to any tourism yield gets applied to every other sieve in the game. So tur tur tourism applies T tourism applies to n minus one okay so if i have a hundred tourism i actually have it times n minus one tourism which in this case would be 100 times five or times five which would be 500 right so in this case in this particular game right i have 275 in this example or i have 247 that means i have whatever that number is like a call it 1250 tourism roughly speaking that's how much tourism making per turn and so you can take this number your actual tourism output and divide it by this number and i'm stealing about a tourist every turn okay now this number here is individually multiplied by multipliers against each sip so you can see here for dido I have a 50% boost for trade routes and a 25% boost for trade routes and 25% boost for open borders. So against Dido, this 247 number is actually like multiplied by 1.5. Now, it gets squirrely when you think about religious tourism. And if you actually look, I'm only making 238, but that's just because of the way the multipliers are applying because of the religious tourism negative. And that'll look pretty similar to everyone, uh, especially it'll look a lot worse. Um, is tourism affected by era age? No. Um, it'll look a lot worse for a lot of these sieves because I don't yet have Crystal Red and Tor, which will eliminate the tourism diminishment of enlightenment on religious tourism. So, um, when I steal enough tourists from every sieve in the game to have more visiting tourists than every other sieve, I will win. That is a tourism victory. There you go. That is the most basic understanding that you need to understand how tourism works. You can go deeper, but that's enough. Um, so I think I do art museum. Do archaeological. We got a temple in here. Good shoot. Um, amazing breakdown. Thanks for that. Yeah, it's quite simple. I do it every now and again for people who weren't around for my last one. Because I, I do it every now and again. I, I do a tourism... Yield breakdown. I need another couple of apostles to send. I need to. to oh, that's a missionary. Whoops. Um, just get me. It probably wasn't necessary to go to patron saint with Moksha. I wasn't thinking about that. That was honestly a, a really suboptimal play, if I really think about it. Could you explain domination victory? Attack men, kill men, win good. Okay, there's natural history. We have access to the archaeologist. That's the most important part of all of these things. We could build things like the hermitage, but we won't. Um, we've got room for two more relics, which means we can be quite aggressive. Um, you make your way over there. Make your way over here. I've got two envoys in the bank. I can't take a meaningful suzerainty. Rapid Nui could be a meaningful suzerainty this game to take a win. I might push for Rapid Nui here. Could you explain science victory? Make science, build rocket, choo choo, ka choo. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Um, every 1,000 culture is a domestic tourist. It's every 100 culture is a domestic tourist. Score victory. Uh, hit end turn until score big. Art museum's up. That's good. Good, 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 Make the art Donatello. Archaeological museum. So I've got room for one, two, three great 
relics. Look at that fate, dude. Look at this. Honestly, relic tourism, as like unreliable and kind of cringe it is, it's also super fun. Like really, really fun. Uh, declare friendship, resident embassy, alliance, military alliance. Boom. You pay me. I've never seen a map like this where there's just one strip of land that wraps around. I have seen a l few maps like this. I've seen a few of them like this. And they're, I don't know, they're decent. Temple, let's go. Let's go. It's a me, a Mario. I need builders. So I think when I hit conservation, I might do a round of builders in some of my cities. Is that city ever getting settled? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to settle the city. Whoops. Uh, you know, I forgot to settle that city. Honestly, it's unimportant. Which is why it hasn't been settled. Um, Bro, where... Oh, there they are. Fight me. Nope. Uh, I've got room. I've got room for great works of writing. I should buy more. So we're in a dark age now, but we do have a cultural alliance with Katarja. And there's St. Basil's Cathedral, 100% religious tourism from my capital. And this is coming not too long before we get Crystal Red and Tor. I think there's going to be a big change here in my empire. We're going to get rid of retainers. We're going to plug in Limes. Uh, we're going to get rid of Gothic architecture. And we're going to plug in serfdom and then I think we're going to leave that the way it is and our goal is going to be to crank out builders and settlers and walls the diplo session starts in one turn none of these are very good for me I'll take heartbeat of steam industrial era buildings are potentially on the cards for me here unlikely but it's whatever um Theater Square, go. Burr. Holy Slight, also go. Burr. When in doubt, happy to steam. True. True, true, true. This is a true, true. I need to buy... I need to put relics in my capital because it gets extra relic tourism. Oh, baby. I have room for one, two, three, four, five, six relics. Let me have a look at the unit list here. Um, I have how many apostles? One, two, three, four. And I had room for one, two, three, four, five, six relics. So I need to buy two more apostles. And get yourself wounded. Hey, Bows. Good to see you. I didn't see you. Until just now. Ooh, attack! Wrecked. Destroyed. With facts and logic. Or possibly just facts. There might not have been any logic involved. Um, okay, so we did... Ooh, ooh, okay. We like that one. Buongiorno. 20% faster population growth. I think... I don't care who hits that. Whatever. Just whatever. Um, plot twist change win condition to domination I could theoretically also go for a d diplomatic victory um, it's also a thing that Poland can do if I had cared more about acquiring those things it's a genuine transition point for Poland Turn into a builder. Ancient walls, let's go. Ancient walls, let's go. Um, gold purchased archaeo... What? Did you build an art museum? Oh, okay. Um, head this way. You head this way. FBs, F your mom. Oh yeah. The forbidden planet. Oh shit. Right, nice free relic based. 
based in relic build right good 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 there's conservation very nice um so naturalist what in the unholy god was i doing with my time making one two three four five got room for five more relicos Malik these nuts two more great works of writing I can purchase I mean this is just like what you should do against the deity AI since they will sell them to you until you're almost winning um, yep we're up to 8 out of 77 we're making 400 tourism per turn are you missing open borders with anyone? Nope, open borders with everyone. We're just missing some trade routes, which is what we're working on. Oh, didn't know Bose had a channel. Is this like a new meme? Get St. Basil's? Dude, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but we have it. Ooh, do you know what I do need, though? I do need this. Oh, no, art, music, and writing. Why doesn't Moksha have a relic boost? Can anyone answer, answer that, answer me that question? Um, but I like this. I think we're in a really, really strong position. We have really, really good relic tourism. I don't think we're like going to win very, 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 very fast. But we are winning. Um, there was a case for a naturalist over here. Let's have a look. Any more candidates for national parks? I don't really see one. Nah. My appeal is just too low. We'll have to make do with something else. No. Natural Wonder National Park? Yeah. Suki nice. Let's get that Diplo quarter up. We've been holding out on it. I should really be using Magnus to chop here. Like I should be, I should be doing this. If I were playing appropriately. Um, I want Curator. Kill me. Expensive faith on Gurdwaras. That's probably not a bad move, but I my logic is the more faith I save for rock fans, the more explosive my late game is. So why would I spend my faith? Gurdwaras will never pay themselves off, right? Um, 160 faith takes 10 turns for 30 faith plus... Unless I'm actually working the holy site. And I am. Theoretically, it's six faith per turn. Even at the best possible interpretation of six faith per turn, okay, that's 60 faith every 10 turns. That takes 30 turns for it to pay off. And let's go to even more generous. And we're adding, let's say, the extra food makes it take 10 less turns to pay off. So it would take 20 turns for this to pay off. By the time I get to rock bands, I'm like, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I'm like less than 20 turns from Rock Bands. So I don't think they pay off. What do you guys think? Do you think, do you, do you, do you think grid wires pay off? They would pay off faster if I had higher Envoys. Like if I, now, if I do this, they pay off like way faster. Which might make them worth it, I guess. So I'll go, I'll go through. I guess I have the faith and I may as well. I should have, maybe, if I had done that earlier in the game, maybe it would have paid off better. Shrine. Temple. Gurdwara. Easy. Um, let's also buy a builder in here. <gasps> Wait. Fech.
Wing to Sar for error score. Medieval walls. I'll grab a money and put her in charge of Rapa Nui because I want a suzerain. Great work of music. It's probably not as good as a relic, so we'll just have him sleep. Oh, I got wrecked by the builder! Nah. I want to know, okay, you know those like, those like bots that are like, ugh, come check out our service, it's better than Tinder. I want to know, I want to talk to a person who's ever like, been in a place where they thought that that was true. <laughs> All right, dude, what was going on in your mind? How down bad were you? Okay, one, two, three, four. Four apostles with one, two, three, four, four slots open. Um, teleport you over here. Ancient walls complete. Let's get those medieval walls. Tourism stonking along. Does anyone know if 2K is working on a solution to crashing on the series SX? Makes it all, almost unplayable with friends. W the only thing I've heard, and um, I take this with a huge, huge grain of salt, okay? A, a gigachad grain of salt, right? The only thing I've heard is that um they're aware of the issues and i think the company that does asper or whatever i think they've they're aware of it and i i don't know what their plans are to fix it but the report has made it somewhere i imagine is what i've heard whether or not something comes from that we'll see map looks fun what's he going for this game relic tourism based Relic tourism. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Kill jungle for appeal for resorts. That's actually a good idea. Good call. That'll be part of the plan. Yes, let's be friends. Why no heroes for heroic relics? Because I wanted to play Poland in vanilla, because not everyone likes playing by heroes and secret societies. Poland with hero re heroic relics and secret societies is just like a supercharged sieve. So I wanted to see, can you make Poland work in a completely vanilla game? Um, so there's like three versions of Poland. There's like, I've said this so many times, Relic Poland, Domination Poland, and then there's like Giga Chad Poland where you have secret societies and heroes turned on. Those are the three versions of Poland. I definitely feel like Relic Poland is the most fun to play, but also the weakest, technically, maybe. Did he forget the settler again? Listen, listen you guys will just not leave well enough alone. War incoming? From who? Sweden? Culture bomb for era score. Who? How many achievements do you have? I have most of them, I think. Uh, 170 out of 300 and something. I'm just not. I'm just not an achievement gamer. I don't look to achieve things. For me. I'm much more driven intrinsically by the by the desire to play games like it's a uh, it's not I, I I the 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 whole like achievement hunter meta is just not really my thing I very much so engage with games in a very like much more compulsive and emotional level uh, hey, Potato Big Whiskey, I'm going to Ireland on vacation for three weeks. Do you recommend anything I have to see? So it depends on which part of the country you're going to. But if you're here for three weeks, you have plenty of time to get around the entire country and see a whole bunch of really, really cool things. It would be an absolute mistake for you to spend those three weeks in one of our cities. Make sure you go to Dublin, check out Kilmainham, Kilmainham Jail, check out the Guinness Brewery, check out uh, the whole host of art and culture museums that are in Dublin City. Make sure you go down to Cork City. It's a simple train right away. There's a really nice uh, wildlife park down there. 
tons of really good nightlife, tons of beautiful little English markets. Uh, do not go see the spire, okay? It's a waste of your fucking time. Do not even Google the spire, okay? They built a giant needle in the middle of our city to mark the millennium, but it was too slow for the millennium and it's ugly as sin, okay? I don't even want to be associated with that fucking thing. Um, um, what else? Uh, if you get a chance, I don't know what your visa looks like. If you get a chance, go check out Northern Ireland. That's pretty cool. A lot of cool things going on up there, especially if you head up to Donegal, especially right now during the summer. It's really, really nice up towards Donegal. I don't know if you're renting a car. Definitely worth it to go check out Donegal, especially if you're into surfing. If you're not into surfing, it's still good crack, but not as much. Like, spend a day or two in Donegal. Do not check out the Spire. Stop. Uh, make sure you check out Galway. Uh, Galway City, really, really good, especially if you're young. Great student city, really, really young uh, nightlife. Has a whole lot of stuff going for it down in Galway. Great spot to go check out. Um, also would heavily recommend um, some of the seaside towns like Bray, Gory. Well, it depends. It's, uh, I don't know what those are like these days, but they were kind of okay when I was younger. Um yeah, places like that. Just, just, you know, just check it all out. You're here for like a three. You're here for twenty days. You got time to check out everything. Um, the Galway's gotten very touristy. That sounds like a local complaint. Oh, look at all this money coming into our city. <laughs> There's too many tourists around. Oh no! What are we gonna do? Gory. Gory was quite nice. Well, I don't know what it's like now. And Arklo and all those places. Those were pretty nice. But then again, that might be like the the, the rose tinted glasses of my childhood. I live in Dublin and the spire is great. The only useful thing for the spire, as you correctly surmise, is that the spire is an incredibly good um, landmark to just like get people to meet each other from multiple places in the city. The Spire is a great spot to meet up and then fuck off away from it. If that's all you're using it for, you're using it correctly. How's our tourism going? 16 out of 85, not bad. Let's be honest, a visit to Ireland is not just complete without having a drink or two with potato bit whiskey. Probably not. I used to I used to be kind of cagey about like hanging out with people in my community, but now I think, you know what? You guys are all right. Now I'm interested in the spire. We're renting a car, going to Northern Ireland for two or three days. Thank you. I'm going to make a list. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff you can do. Pog, why so big? Because I'm huge, dude. Nice. Wing doozer. Okay, we definitely need to build the crystal red and tour. I think I'd like to chop it out. And Gnizo is going to be the spot to do. Well, nah. We'll do it here. It's going to be a very, very slow crystal. Um, but there's a lot of chops around here. There we go. One of your cities needs repair. You? Mother? Good catch. Good eye. Any useful great people to buy? Instant factory is fine. Ooh, Mary Leaky. Mary Basky. 12,000 faith though. How fast can I get great scientist points? Let me see. Take me 10 turns to save up enough faith to buy her. Take them. I think I can buy her, actually. It would be good to get. Um, unlike Dublin Spire. Are you hating on the Spire? Are you even from Dublin? If you're not from Dublin, you can't hate on the Spire. That dems the rules. Only people who are from the city can talk shit about the city. 
Everyone knows that rule. Great merchant. Ooh, I do like the two relic slots in the capital. Scientist card. It's only two points. It's two points. You know what I mean? Over 10 turns when I can buy it. Now, here's the thing. Is buying this great merchant, is buying Mary Leakey worth more than having, tw I think it's worth more to have 12,000 faith worth of rock bands, to be honest with you. I think that's honestly the play. Um, speaking of the play, straight to Cold War, do not pass go. I'm going to stop for upper, actually, we are passing go. We're, we're cleaning up the civic tree real quick. I need time to finish my walls. Um, so look for good gold. I need to trade with each sieve. Trade with you. So I'm trading with two sieves. I could use more trade routes. Let's do this. Can't afford it. We'll have to wait. Winged who's there? War? They look like they're coming, but I don't I don't think they oh. They might be. <laughs> they could be. It could be. Fight me. Okay, toes. How are you? One dollar and ninety nine cents greed or not to greed. Oh I forgot that was still up there. Um Yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of reworking in here. At least it's not Arabia this time. Got it. Yeah, Ar Arabia like really messed up me that game. Room for three more. Oh, man. Nope. Nope. I refuse to trade deals. Get the hell out of here. What I should do, though, I should get that kill. Easy. And then I should go to here and I should probably purchase luxury. Potato I'm from USA. And like one slash eight. Irish four generations ago, so I get to hate on the spire. Pretty sure that's legit. True. I'll give you I'll give you uh I'll give you the spire pass. You can hate on it. Alright, let's get open borders with everyone. I think I have open borders with everyone. Um, Renaissance walls in the capital. Amphitheater. How many apostles are you turning into relics? Would have been easier to win a religion victory? Yes. <laughs> yeah, 100% it would have been. Easier to win a religion victory. In all honesty, I'm going to have to revise my guide to Poland. I mean, Relic Poland is fun, but just not very good. It's, it's just not very good. It's just, it's just not, it's just not that good. I'm going to be honest with you. It's, just, I, do you know what it is? It's not that Poland is fundamentally bad. It's just they have no unique ways to acquire um, relics. And relics come really late into the game. It's really all it boils down to. I mean, we got triple golden ages. I think we can accept the fact that we might be hitting a couple of dark ages here on the way up. Um, yeah, more archaeological museums. Renew cultural lines with Dido. Good call. And in fact... Triple gold. It was a triple golden age, actually. Yeah. So how are we doing for walls? I think we have walls everywhere. No. We 
Yeah, now we have our walls everywhere. That's good. A little bit of baseline tourism up to 19 out of 87. Good shit. Another Ireland series win. When it, uh, my goal is so, <laughs> I'm not even sure if I should say this meme, but uh, there's a there's a TikTok meme that I was made aware of, and it is uh, about the song about the time Barack Obama visited Ireland because he had like Irish roots or whatever. And I thought it would be a really funny meme if we made an Irish Civ with Barack Obama as the leader. Um, well, it was actually it was suggested me to to me by um, by a fan. And it was fucking gas, so I think that's something we would like to do. Um, but the song is, uh, it's on TikTok. If you look like, if you look up Irish Obama on TikTok, you'll find it. But yeah, I thought it'd be hilarious if we could have Obama lead in Ireland. Um... It needs to be done. Yeah, I need to find a modder who's willing to do it. Let's take control of Yerevan. That's another big chunk of fate, like 45 per turn. Obama has Irish roots. Did you not know this? Obama vi visited Ireland, right? Oh my God, he doesn't know the lore, guys. He's actually clueless about the lore. He doesn't know the Obama lore. Um, so Ireland actually, or, or, or Obama actually visited Ireland. And uh, he visited a town in like Money Gaul or something like that because his great grandfather was Irish or something. Maybe it was his great grandmother. And uh, there's a little shrine to Obama in some random town in Ireland. <laughs> and I mean, like, quite literally, like a shrine. It's like a little Obama, like, <laughs> tourist office where you can buy, like, Obama fridge magnets and stuff. <laughs> Did he see the spire? I think he did. I don't think he liked it that, that much. There's also a highway restoration. That's it. Not all who we shall not cease from exploration. And the end of all our um, So I think we're staying in theocracy. Yeah, I'm having a bit of an issue here. I don't know what's killing that. It's a volcano, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so we got Renaissance walls, or maybe something. I think something might have blown in and done that damage. Renaissance walls are all built. Time to get the amphitheaters. I will go for a quick granary, though. It's a two turn thing for an extra housing. Two housing. You're sitting there. Harvest that bad boy. It's going to harvest everything in here. Try and get the crystal red and done in a reasonable amount of time. There's a spire thing in Newcastle that's absolute dog shite. Can I show you it anywhere? I could probably look it up. You can DM it to me on Discord and I might look at it. Projects a fragile kind of strength. Okay. So where are we at? Great musician points for every broadcast center. Jeez, that feels very... That card feels well ahead of where you get the radio. Um... Time to join the court. A kind of unprepared uh, chop on um, Crystal Redentor. It'll be fine. Twenty dollars and zero cents thanks for your honesty. Answering the question about a religious victory being easier. Hey, thank you so much, Steve Giant, but <laughs> I should be way more honest. People are gonna don't know twenty twenty dollars. No no, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much. I super super de duper de appreciate it. Okay, sorry. Uh yeah, no, uh thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the dono. Um what the hell was I doing? Holy Side Theater Square Commercial Hub. Commercial Hub. Trade routes. Probably don't need many more trade routes, but we will continue to produce them. Amphitheater. Could use more. How much room? We have room for one more. Do I still have an apostle? I think I do. Yep. 
I will get room for more now soon. Um, tourism, 25 out of 91. Very good. We're looking good. Yeah, no need for this. That's just a lumber mill. Chop that there. Grab ourselves a builder. Keep that city on the roll. I'm on a roll. I gotta find a way to die. Uh, are you chopping down forest and replanting it later? Yes, because that's a tempo increase. I can Because I have such a huge economy, I can target specific areas of my economy. While it's overall an inefficient use of resources, it is an efficient use of resources in this particular city if I want to maximize the production account so that I can get Crystal Redentor faster. That wasn't even the right city. Fuck. It's basically, by doing this here, I use up a lot of gold by making builders, but I increase the overall tempo of this particular city. But I reduce the tempo of my entire empire, but sometimes it's a worthwhile trade-off that you make. I've got the Guile theme stuck in my head. I feel like it's like 2008 or YouTube again. The Guile theme goes with everything. Was that in 2008? It feels like it was around then. I'm an old man. PLN 25.00, Harzman at Seaside. That's why I love Civ 6. I think I can take out Public Works soon. Okay. Mr. Grape sent me a picture of... Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It looks like... It just looks like a horn, like a like a horn that just goes into the ground. It looks really terrible. It's shocking. Get the consulate. Oh yeah. Whoops. Good shout. Kill me. Relics. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Now, that is a screenshot worth sharing right there. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. So, once I finish the Crystal Red and Tour, I'll be very happy, actually. So, what, are we, what tiles are we working here? Yeah, we just need more actual production. Got to be shaving turns off. down to 15 turns we can get that down a little bit lower there's some choppable still so we have holy side commercial hub theater square bank um probably a good time for another industrial zone one two three four five six there on this stone i think hits the maximal one two three four, yeah it hits the eastern half of my empire good job just want to power my empire, appoint this. We don't actually have a use for you. Well, theoretically, you are worth amenities and housing. I've tried the Blitz Congo, a uh, Blitz combo with Congo relics and sculptures and Christian Christina auto theming. That sounds busted. It sounds insanely busted. This, uh, what I wanted to focus on right now is trying to play through um, I'm doing my civ overviews I've been delaying this series for literally like three years <laughs> I delayed um, so free market and bank boom that should be room for another two relics in my cap which brings us up to 64 tourism which means two more apostles uh I need to do this, and then I need to do this. So much faith. Yeah, my faith is disgusting. I'm quite happy with it, though. 
no one worth buying. If there's a great merchant worth buying for tourism, I would consider it. Although I'm doing a rock band rushdown, so I don't know if I need to. We got this down to 12 turns. I reckon I could shave maybe like three more turns off that, which should be quite good. buy Mary Leaky. I could buy Mary Leaky, but here's the thing. I could have a 300% more relic or artifact tourism, or I could have like 5 billion rock bands. And I think that choice is very, very obvious to me. Where's music censorship? Does anyone know where music censorship is? There it is, yeah. So you have a very small window to actually make use of these. That's it. Okay. So yeah, I think I think I go all in rock bands. No dilly dallying. No diddly daddling. I'm not gonna be Ned Flanders today. Diddly 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 diddly. Mary is 16 turns of your current faith income. That's true. It's not that much. I mean, theoretically, it's not a bad purchase, right? Especially because I have the, the potential for a huge amount of artifacts. But it's just not the build I'm going for. Buy some traders. Oh, shoot. You're right. I was waiting for my trade routes to come in, and they already came in. As soon as you can. Diddly, 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 diddly. The second Crystal Red and Tor finishes and I have Rock Bands, I'm pretty sure the game ends really fast. I hate that it counters an entire aspect of the Culture Victory with a single card. Yeah, it's, you kind of force them to play it though, which I guess is nice. In that you force them to do a thing. Um, so I want to trade with every sieve. I don't think I'm trading with Indonesia. So I will trade with Indonesia. Um, I don't think I'm trading with... What if I sent you to Sax? And what if I sent you to Kaliz? Perhaps we could get better trades. We'll see. Um... On the other hand, there's not really any other counterplay to rock bands. I mean, it's the same counterplay that you have for religious units. You just declare war on them and you kill them. Uh, Pingala, 100% promotion. Yeah, I need to get that. I keep forgetting to. I'm going to like a win before 1am. I should win, actually, very, very soon. Should not be far off a win. There's the modern era. Industrialization. Ideology. No more limes card. I didn't need the limes card anymore, to be honest with you. Um, public works can go. I'm not making builders for a little while. Skyscrapers is good. Speed up my crystal. Eve. What do you want? I'll let you out in a little while, okay? Hang on, I'm going to finish this game and then I'll let you out and we can play. Let's do research. Cash? 
Do I want cash? Rash? Could use a little bit of extra science. My science is very weak. That's going to be a priority for me now. Honestly, this is only like 46 faith now. Is that that big these days? I don't think so. I think I could plug in a different card. Can you explain how culture bombs work? Um, it's pretty simple. I will explain it here in a moment. I'm going to pick a card first. 46 faith is still good. Show all the relics. Room for two more. Ooh, extra movement card would have been good, actually. Good shout. Um, so... <clears throat> what was I doing? Oh, you guys just... You guys are so distracting. <laughs> Pick a card, any card. I don't think we take Mary Leaky. A bird came down. As good as she is, I don't think we take her. Um, let's see, can I trade with someone I wouldn't otherwise be able to? Probably not. If I trade it side on though, that will open up future trading post opportunities. I have a trading post here in Tyre, so if I get a trading post in side on, that might be meaningful. Um, if I can get a trading post in Linkoping, Linkopium. Stop getting distracted. I'm sorry. Did I remember to make an apostle? I did. I don't care about that one. I do care about this one. Who won the Nobel Peace Prize, actually, I wonder? No one asked, and so no one answered. The city definitely feels surplus. Superfluous. Surplus to requirement. Success is Mary Leaky D's nut. True. Um, I don't want a musician, but I will take it. Right. Factory. Let's go. Archaeological museum. That means archaeologist. Um, I probably should go through and look for more archaeologists. There's one. And there's one here too. Unbelievable. Two turns until Christo. So right now, here I'll I'm making somewhere between five hundred and sixty, three hundred and thirty, three hundred and four hundred. So somewhere between like four hundred to six hundred tourism per save right now, okay? Let's see how those numbers change next turn. Oh, what is a culture bomb and what does it do? Right. Very, very quick explainer of a culture bomb. Let's get an eye from in the so, uh, culture bomb. Let's say I had a city here. And I triggered a culture bomb here. I would claim these tiles. Okay? That's how a culture bomb works. You... Trigger a culture bomb on a tile in a city and it claims the adjacent tiles for the city that the culture bomb was triggered in. However, culture bombs cannot claim tiles that are further than three away from a city. So if I were to do a culture bomb here for this city, right? Or uh, let me use an existing city. One, two, three. If I triggered a culture bomb on this tile with a preserve, it would only claim these tiles, okay? Because a culture bomb cannot claim tiles outside of three range of a city. Now, I do still have to make a fort. I also have to, ma I have to make a fucking thing first, a uh, encampment. 
Now, the other half of that is um, you also can't claim tiles that have districts or wonders on them. And those are the limitations. Actually, BRB. <clears throat> okay. Um, there. Right, so let, let's get this game finished up so we can go to bed, chill the hell out. We just got rock bands. Let's go through our cities and buy rock bands. Just a huge wave of rock. Rock. Rock bands. Because we're just going for the rush down. Get as much tourism as fast as possible. So we barely even took a dent in our faith bank there. By the way, um, democracy is the correct play, I believe. Are we in theocracy? We are. We should stay in theocracy for a little while. We want social, we want environmentalism and we want social media. So Krista Redentor finishes next turn. That is going to boost us from 600 ish, 400, 500 ish, 400 ish, 400 ish. That should give us a significant boost because a lot of our religious tourism is being suppressed right now. Um, archaeological museum. No, you should build a zoo. The AOE amenities seems pretty good. You need to build a Suki nice. Appoint you. I know I was meant to appoint. What's his name? Listen. I uh, I elected not to, so I could get the error score. Sue me. Why don't you counter spy? Capital's losing pop. Eh. What are you going to do? Counter spy. How do you feel about domination in online speed? I feel like domination in online speed has some advantages for the attacker and some disadvantages for the attacker. It really just comes down to the skill of the players. Thus, the the Crystal Red and Tor, beautiful. So, the Crystal Red and Tor is a wonder that gives us some wonderful benefits, most importantly. Um, tourism output from holy sites and relics is not diminished by other civilizations of researched enlightenment and 100% tourism from seaside resorts must be built on hills. That forks really... Oh, tournament started. Oh. Um... That forks really nicely onto radio. What was I going to say? <sighs> Crap. Uh, oh yeah, tourism. Look at that, 897. That's like a 50% increase. 700, 500, 600, 600. So a huge jump in tourism from Crystal Redentor. Did you buy a new graphics card? I did not. I'm, I'm living life on the edge. I had meant to though. I will do it later today. I will do it when I remember. <laughs> Okay, we got a lot of rock bands to handle. 
Um, Wonders is fine. So, main targets. Dido. Main targets Dido and Lady Six Guy. I'll send a couple to the west here. Um, Theater Square boosted. This is going to be a very annoying and tedious micromanagement game. Uh, Religious Rock is kind of fun. Wonder Tiles. Theater Squares. Gold Tourism. Album Cover Art. Glam Rock. Glam Rock is the best promotion in the game, in my opinion. Album Cover Art is like a close second. Arena Rock is kind of okay. Kill me. Thanks. Now, let's do it all again. Rock Band. 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 And Rock Band. Big rush down. So I have like... 24 Rock Bands right now. So the hope is... But that's enough to rush this down. When in doubt, rock band. Honestly, this is like a good good life advice. You having a bad day? Stick on a rock band. Now that you have rock bands, how do you feel about your decision to build Gurdwaras? I think building Gurdwaras was, was the correct play because I upgraded my relationship with city-states that gave those Gurdwaras extra yields, which means that those Gurdwaras have paid themselves off. Um and give me access to more rock bands. I definitely feel like it was the right choice. Saving that faith honestly wasn't worth it. So, you're a converter. Go. 2000 Tourism. Um, you're a converter. They're standing on all the tiles I want to use. Why can't you perform? Huh, weird. Um, I'll take roadies so you're faster. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Seeing all those tiles over there light up. So a few of these guys are going to get sent over to Lady Six Guy. This like second wave. First wave hits Dido. Second wave hits Lady Six Guy. 66 turns until I win. So statistically, one of these rock bands should pop off. Okay. Who wants to take a bet? Okay, we're going to do a prediction. Okay, a rare, a rare prediction. Will I get a level three rock band? Yes. No. That's the prediction. You have two minutes. Big payout on this one, boys. I expect to see everyone going all in on their option. Space Rock is really good. Oh, did I forget to name some of these? Is that the issue? Um, potential huge payout here. Will I get a level three rock band? Let's 
好きなライス。I miss the days when you could force a flip on a city. Those were good days. I wish they never took that mechanic out. I feel like they were so much braver when that mechanic was in the game. It was a brave new world. Alright, let's go. 50-50 chance. Leveled up. Predictors in shambles. And I've already leveled up a rock band. Your points are gone. Now that's the first of two levels that I required. So let's see. Statistically, there's a really good chance that I get it, but th there is always the possibility that I don't. Maybe I should have made it level 4. That would have been harder. Suki, nice. Um, Alright, we're going good. It's a lot of rock bands. I hate the rock band mechanics so much. It's a little RNG. But it does the job. Water park districts. Okay. Um, name you. Wonder tile. 37% chance. Based. Lost. 3000 tourism. Based. 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 Boom. 50% chance. Based. Lost. Okay. This is a bad turn for, for rock bands. Probably should stop doing rock band actions, but I'm not going to because I'm a, I'm a, gl I'm a glutton for punishment. Enter. Go there. Suki nice. Space rock. Name him. Claim him. Um, surf band. Confirm. What do you do? You just really fast. Go here and die. Boom. Oh! You passed the flying colors. I'm amazed. You convert the city that you perform in. I don't need that. So I'll just throw you away on this. You survived, based. Theater Square District, make your way down. Spaceports and campuses, okay. Roadies, what do you do? Rogan, Wonder Tiles, okay. What do you do? Roadies. Get down here to Oxford, play in Oxford. Unit lost, unit lost. This is my nightmare. By the way, when I close my eyes at night, and I, I like my, this is my sleep paralysis demon, is micromanaging rock bands. This is what it is. This is my fucking sleep paralysis demon. He's rigging the outcome. I, I don't know what you talking about. Academics. <laughs> I, I like the idea of the, like the rock band is just going in and playing a playing a session, and then like the you know, the students of the college that they're playing at just like kill them and eat them. It's like your music sucked, <laughs> but you're tasty. Yet we got. Wonder tiles, boom. Show me the money. Unit lost. Astronomy 
Oh, shh. Oh, this is the flood. All right, what do we got here? You just extra movement. Go jump on this. Good job. You survived. How are we looking? Very, very close to a win. Easy clap. What do you do? Water park. Does, oh. You just movement. Oxford. Unit lost. What do you do? Theater square. <gasps> Level two. Easy, easy, easy. What do you do? You're a converter. I know you are a wonder guy. Go ahead and play here. Oh, good, 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 good. Go play here. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't think I'm gonna level three, guys. It's not gonna happen. 37% chance. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, SpaghettiO. What do you do? You're just fast. I forgot to name you. Go to Oxford. Play at Oxford University. Get eaten. Yeah! The students at Oxford University, they just keep eating the rock bands. Oh my god. What do you do? You're fast? I'm fast as boy. Oxford University, consume more bands. This is like, this is like there's a pile of corpses, of band corpses in Oxford University. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Calm down, Satan. Satan. Bro, I don't want to. I don't want to click anymore. This, this is my. This is like my least. But it is kind of fun to win the game in like one turn. I, I, I might like over the threshold now. I've got to be close. That's just the lore at this point. True, 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 true. The true, true. Oxford are harsh critics. True. What do you do? Seaside resorts. Go to the harbor. What do you do? Need to be promoted. What do you do? Spaceports and campuses. What do you do? Spaceports and campuses. Okay. What do you do? Extra spread. Rock band. Don't have enough. Uh, yeah, go there. So many things that I meant to do that I never got around to. This game. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got a level up. We got a level up. Easy does it. Still a chance here, unless I literally win the game when I end this turn. And for people to get what they need. Let's see. Oh, I didn't win. <laughs> I'm definitely winning this turn. Doubters, doubters are winning. Doubters are eating good tonight. Um, so let's switch and perform. Um, now here is the moment of truth. As if I, ah, uh, well, nope. I guess it doesn't happen. Four dollars and ninety-nine cents when students at the university to rock band. I will believe cancel culture is out of control. Unit lost. Dude, Oxford University is actually consuming my entire rock band, like, portfolio. There we go, another level. No level threes, though. It's looking kind of bad for you guys. The the, the believers are are, are, are are shaken to their core right now. Oh, what do you do? You're just fast. I mean, statistically, I just, I gotta, oh, level up. That's good, that's good, that's good for the believers. One step closer. What do you do? You spaceports and campuses. We should probably prioritize those then. Um, archaeological. I'm probably winning this turn. What do you do? Seaside resorts. Go to Oxford. Get eaten. Yeah! Uh, water park. Fine. Tourism, fine. I think we win here. You're just fast. 
Go to this wonder. Get eaten. Nice. Good job. 5k tourism, though. Uh, yeah, I think I win. I think I actually just win the game. Here. Right? I think this is all just a formality at this point. This is your only chance. Well, no, because he has to actually level up. <gasps> you would need another turn. Oh, no, guys. Oh, no. You didn't make it. Rip. Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Nice. Win? Am I winning? Are you winning, son? <sighs> Come on, man. Just like... Wait, where? Unit lost. I gotta win here, right? Yeah, there you go. No level three. Doubters oh. are paid out. Congratulations. What's the Poland strat? I'm afraid you're going to have to rewind to check that out. Uh, but as far as a Poland strategy goes, I think this strategy works for Poland. It's just kind of not very exceptional. Like it's a, it's a, it's a good relic Poland strat. Like if we do a little bit of a post-mortem on this game, um, I think Poland... The, the, pro the thing is, like... <laughs> Here's my nuclear take. Here's my nuclear take on Poland. Are you ready, kids? Are you ready, kids? Right. Poland. It's a, it's a 120 turns on online game speed. So make that a 240 turns on normal game speed. Um, Poland. Is just a slightly better than average generic religion spammer sieve. I, that's, I just said it. I, any other religion sieve could do what Poland does, but better. At Russia could do what Poland did here better. Khmer could do what Poland did here better. Uh, who else? Norway could probably do what Poland did here better. Gandhi could do what Poland did here better. This was a fun and interesting build, but was it strong because it was Poland? I guess guess once the relics popped out that was cool but when did i did, does anyone know when i got my first relic i want to say it was really late into the yeah like i got my first relic here bro around here somewhere in this area you know what i mean that's so late i'm pl like this entire part of the game the only bonus that i was playing with was that my holy sites get a little bit of extra adjacency if i had been playing mali or some other like civ you know, the so. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, they're just they're it's just they're just an okay fate sip. That's really all they've got going for them. It's a reliquary build, not a Poland one. Poland is giga busted with candy. <sighs> even like dude even if i had candy this game okay if i was playing a standard game speed what is this every one two three four there's four blips between each of these 30 divided by four is what 10 says so call it seven and a half turns right so this would be 21 this would have been around turn like 160 before i got my first relic in a standard speed game turn 160 it's not it's just not that good if I had won here, no. Yeah, if I had won somewhere here, I would have considered this busted. But winning here, turn 120 plus, it's just a standard reliquary build. Maybe with a little bit of extra sauce, secret sauce added in. But I really don't think Poland, well, Poland does it better than most non-religious sieves. Which is a bit like saying... Someone with a frying pan is going to cook better than someone without a frying pan. It's like, yeah, sure. But like, there's no extra special skill there. They just have like a, a slightly more useful tool. 
another person with a frying pan could probably do just as good. Do you know what I mean? Like or, there's, a, there's a better analogy there. But like, I don't think this is like an exceptional... In what difficulty did you play? I played on um, Didi. I don't think this is like an exceptional showing for Poland. You didn't get your streamer relic for, from turn 10 on a hut this game. If Here's what I will say though. If you do hit a relic from a hut at Poland, it would make this a lot stronger. You think about the faith tempo from a single relic around here. Just it would have just smoothed that curve out. I get through the game a little faster. I feel like like if I'm really thinking about Poland for a reliquary's build, they just they just don't feel like they have much going for them. Um I mean This was fine. This was fine. Like let's let's take a moment here. Do a little recap, do a little rewind, talk about Poland's bonuses. So like if we're talking about Poland's bonuses, here are like the four well, he, I don't know if I'm gonna put a label on them. Here's how I would fix Poland. Okay? First of all, um Poland should get a unique way to generate relics that no other save has access to. Um so here are some examples. Poland should get a relic when they convert an enemy holy city. Poland should get a relic when they found a religion. Poland should get a relic when they evangelize a religion. Um, here's another one. Poland should get a relic when they build a wonder, when they build the first wonder from a unique era. Okay. Poland just needs like two to three early relics and they will run away with the game. They just need two to three early relics and then they will... This whole sieve makes sense. The fact that you have to wait until like literally the Renaissance era before you can like... You can get relics earlier, but it's super RNG. Why wouldn't you go for the guaranteed relics and super power spike? It's like, I don't know. I love Yadwiga's nose, least horny sieve player. Um, they need They need a way to make relics. BBG Poland takes the crown. That's why BBG Poland is huge. Cause two free relics. In BBG is Poland, you get two free relics and two more from Wonders and one more from the general. I definitely feel like Pol like if Poland had a way to make relics, they would be just a good save. As they currently stand, the fact that they have no unique way to make relics makes them weak. Um, Poland should get a relic when they convert a city of each different religion or each different save for the first time. Um, that isn't on their team, maybe because in a big eight person team game you would get like three relics from your own team which would be kind of crazy great profit points you get relics after you get your great profit i mean yeah you could do something like that but i think really i think the the real answer is like why don't you just get a free relic with mont saint michel you know what i mean like that's what bbg does free relic when you build this wonder free relic when you build this wonder uh you know, free relic when you build this wonder. Boom. That would like just make relic build so much better. I do think BBG solves the problem really, really well. Um, it like this build works going for relics as Poland, but I don't think it's like exceptional or very good. I don't think it's like amazing. I feel like the bonus faith culture gold loan isn't as good as bonus food or production. Probably. Free relic for every golden age. Now that would be amazing. That would fix Poland. If Poland got a free relic for every golden age, that would really, you could get, if you got your first three golden ages, that's three relics that gives you tempo. Maybe you get lucky from a tribal village. Who knows? Your live voice got me to acting up. At least horny chatter. Uh, I did reliquaries as Russia on turn 228 in normal speed and probably after it up hard because I don't normally do culture victories. Reliquaries are busted. Reliquaries are busted. I definitely agree. Um, but it just doesn't seem... Uh, Relic Race itself is kind of busted, but it's also just super late. Like, it feels like it should kick in way earlier. But I was like, what was I? I was like here in the tech tree before it really started going. And it also relies on people killing your things. Um, relics were just kind of like... A bit of... Probably like one of the weakest bits of religious design in terms of acquisition. Which secret societies fix them. Um, okay, since we're talking about fixing saves, how would you fix Tamar? Well, I'm currently working on the Poland overview. So when I get around to playing Tamar, I'll give you my opinion on that. 
But yeah, honestly, for a relic sieve, all Poland needs is a way to make relics, and then they would be like super good. Right now, as they currently stand, the sieve just unfortunately doesn't work. Um, like I didn't even use this ability. Well, I the military policy slot is really good, being switched to a wild card. I think it should be. Do you want to know what BBG changed about Tamar? What did BBG change about Tamar? Let me know. Tell me. Tribe Arabia BBG, please. It's super fun. Well, I, I plan to do. So I, here's my content plan. At least it's kind of a tentative plan. I, I'm going to go do go through and do a civilization overview of every civ in the game. So I've been playing Poland the last week. I'm going to do another Poland game where I go for um, Choral Music Crusade and try to make the Winged Hussar work. And then I'm going to do another Poland game where I go for uh, Secret Societies. And then I can probably do like Reliquaries plus Secret Societies and Heroes and Legends. I can probably do Reliquaries plus Crusade and like really play Poland to the fullest. So you have a year of content? Yeah, it's going to take me like a week per sieve, in all honesty when you add into the fact that I'm also starting a podcast um, I need to set up a Patreon for that actually I need to set up a Patreon for my main channel I need to set up a Patreon for the podcast I'm going to try and have a, a guest or two a week on the podcast um, that'll be streamed live on YouTube but it'll also go to a podcast VOD channel and have to like be syndicated to like Spotify and Audible and all these other places I'll have to, I'll have to learn how to actually run a podcast so we're going to find that out tomorrow when we do it for the first time um Doing a new game or reloading one? I think we're done here. Uh, I think I'm just going to end the stream, host someone, and get the hell out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, Relic Poland. Not bad, not great. Just kind of fun and an interesting way to play. Just kind of very demanding and sweaty in terms of gameplay. Um, it requires you to play it a very, very sweaty way to really make use of it. Tater cast or potato cast? It's probably going to be called like the potato oh, pod or something. Knows. Or the milk whiskey pod. Two. Honestly, zero, the podcast zero, tater is cast or potato cast. One of those two. Honestly, the podcast is just an excuse for me to talk to people, uh, practice my conversational skills, and have fun chatting about interesting topics. I figure, like, I'm in a position where I could probably find guests really easily, and why not try my hand at something that's kind of tangentially re related to what I'm already doing? It, you know, I figured it'd be a fun thing to try. Um, Okay, who am I hosting? Any hosters? Mod check? Any Civ 6 players? Mod check? No one? Spudcast, the Podtato. Two potato. Mod check? Both, why aren't you streaming? I could host you right now, but you're not streaming, Sag. Uh, Peppermint, are you streaming? Because I don't stream on Mondays? Fuck you. It's probably okay. You rock, thank you. 